with two special guests <laughs> and a laughing Jordy. One of them's already asserted his authority. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> <laughs> my first, my first foray into podcasting, I fucked it up before I even spoke. So John Green and oh, Gary Jahal. Gary Jahal, welcome both of you. Thanks, bro. Yeah, thanks for having us. So you're just gonna say bra all the time. No doubt. No, I, I, want, I want, I want a bit of cat. Cat. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't said it in a few months, but what's going on? Cat. Yes. <laughs> I'm back, bitches. <laughs> Last time I heard you say that was at that gig at that fucking beer. <laughs> that beer tasting. <laughs> oh, yeah, the one I royally <laughs> fucked up. That was terrible. Man. We did this gig um, for Roy Malloy at his, um, at his beer, beer tasting restaurant Sorry, thing. I don't think he listens to this. And um, the <laughs> the premise of the gig was there's a beer tasting. It was out in like Deer Park or some shit. And um, yeah, this way, yes. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I thought we were never meant to give the location of this joint. Anyway, so like Deer Park, but anyway, could go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Roy goes, all right. So they're here to taste beer. Keep it PG. Well, like, yeah, no worries, man. All good. So we got Gary in the paid gig. And uh, Roy takes a stage, it wasn't even a stage, it wasn't even a microphone, and um, Roy butters everyone up with saying something like, oh, you know, uh, we don't have hipster beer, we don't have that poofy beer, all that sort of shit, but it's like, oh, Jesus, all right, that's not really PG, but all right, and he, he threw a few F-bombs and some shit and all that sort of stuff, and then I took, I took the stage and I was like, there's no mic, this feels really weird. So he gets a mic set up, just halted the whole gig. He gets a mic set up. I did my bit. Got fuck all for it because like no one really gave a shit. You actually did well. Did I? You did well. Yeah. Oh, cheers. I ripped into some dude for wearing a Metallica shirt, and I was like, name three songs because I thought he was doing like a Kardashian mm-hmm. thing. Is that one off uh, the zombie film? That's a good one. The what? You know that zo- uh, zombie film with Z- what's that one? What? <laughs> it says, with the rules where he says always oh, double tap. Oh, Zombie yeah. Land. Yeah, Zombie Is Land. Is that one? What? That's a Metallica song. I can't remember. Oh, that that one. <laughs> I can't remember. Um. <laughs> so, I derailed you there with my Metallica a great, great story. <laughs> 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 I was I love looking, a good story. I was, I was looking at Emma Stone too much to remember the music, but um, so, <laughs> Gary takes the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Over to what's going on, cunts? <laughs> just launches, launches into this thing about being hate fucked and masturbating all this sort oh, of shit. Yeah. And Roy comes over and goes, "Did you tell him the brief?" I was like, "Yeah," <laughs> but you can't kind of set the precedent a little bit by you know saying this and that when you're warming up. And he goes, "What's the quickest way I can finish this?" I was like, "Oh, I'll give him a wave and I'll tell him to calm it down." <laughs> Gary's just like, "What? You don't like my material?" <laughs> I remember I said, what's going on, cats? And then, like, a few people laughed, and one table was horrified. But I thought they were, like, happy horrified. And then, turns out, they were really... There was, like, some old lady who was in the late 80s or something. That's, like, probably the last thing she heard before she died on the way home. There's only, like, <laughs> ten people in this little beer thing. Yeah. It started bar- way too strong. The bartender was loving it. <laughs> just like, oh! But, uh... That's how I described it to Anna the other day. She yeah. goes, is Gary? I've never... I've never he always goes and gets on stage and goes, What's going on, cat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've heard that. <laughs> so, yeah, um, first time I was introduced to Gary, right, it was about seven years ago, in a, a little gig in Station 59, which was an open mic for very open mic and very, very open mic. Like first gig, Extreme open first mic. gig room. Uh, and it was my first gig, out there. And uh, somebody got on stage and uh, he said, Oh, I'm on mushrooms. And I thought, oh, here we go, this is a bit. It wasn't a bit. And it was about a 12 minute rant about nothing, about absolutely nothing. <laughs> and then about an eight minute giggle off. And that was it. <laughs> and I remembered his name though, so I thought, like, you did well. So you're good at leaving an impression. <laughs> I remember that being a pretty good gig. <laughs> but, you know, my memory might have been a bit fucked up on that day. I got lost three times on the way to the venue, by the way. You got lost in your bit three times. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's like a six minute walk from the station. And I've done it a million times. 
and like two minutes in, I'm like, fuck, I'm th- I think I'm lost. I have to ask for directions. And it's just <laughs> literally it's go straight, turn right. And I went straight, I came back, I went straight, I crossed the road for some reason, <laughs> came back to the other side. And it's Victoria Street, right? So there's dodgy fuckers around. And I remember thinking, you know, you're on mushrooms, right? Like if someone mugs me, I almost wouldn't mind just to get the human contact. <laughs> <laughs> I was down for some hugs. Good night, first time on mushrooms. Good, good shit. That and was your first time on mushrooms as well. Time, yeah. And you thought, you know, there was a spot. Why <laughs> not? <laughs> <laughs> well, never cancel the game. You've got to be a professional. <laughs> you can come there all fucked up, but never cancel. The show must go on. No doubt. I don't think I've done mushrooms yet. You should. What's it like? Mushroom season. It's good shit. Mm. I love it. <laughs> I yeah, hugged, hugged my dog. Had a really good dog hug. <laughs> Not in like a dog. Like I stayed away from his dickhole region. <laughs> just to clarify. Yeah, just, yeah. But he was so furry. And I remember hugging him and going, "Oh, Russell." <laughs> <laughs> and then I had like the best shower of my life. It felt so good. Shower beer never tasted that good. <laughs> and I was having epiphanies on the way to the gig. What I thought was epiphanies, because your mind works really fast when you're on mushrooms. <laughs> And I was scribbling it all down, right? And I read it when I got to the venue, and the only thing that I could actually read was I wrote a line, and it went, awareness of awareness is the ultimate orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time, I was like, this is some deep shit. This is going to guide my life from now on. Next day, I was like, there is a bunch of horse shit. This is why I hate people who are high. <laughs> this is why stoners are assholes. <laughs> Rubbish. Did you learn anything? No, I like mushrooms. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> what about you guys? Have you dabbled in the illicits? Yeah, pretty much everything, just not mushrooms. I did um, coke for the first time at a house party. It was a friend of family's thing. It's all our parents and all these people were there. It was the youngest daughter's 21st. And the parents were there? Yeah. And, uh... Aussie, bro. Aussie. Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're sick cats. No, they're great <laughs> parenting. No, they're, they're actually Italian. But um, so I rocked up and I was, I was late as I usually am. And um, I rocked up and got pulled in the bedroom straight away. So my shit sister's there. Um, the, the twins are there and then the youngest daughter's there. And I'm the oldest out of all of them. And it was the youngest is 21st. And um, I get greeted at the door with a bag. And a rolled up hundred. I was like, oh, we're doing this, are we? <laughs> like, yeah, fuck it, why not? And there's like a hundred people there, like friends of friends and shit were there and all that sort of stuff. And um, Who are these people? <laughs> fr- friends of family. I've known them since I was like three. Just getting on it. Yeah. Are there like mafia connections or something? No. It just happened at weed laying around. Yeah, that's really I mean, coke. I mean, yeah. coke, yeah. You don't want that relationship with your parents, do you? <laughs> no, really well, the, well, the parents were outside getting sloshed on wine. And, um, the, the music that was playing was brilliant. Like, they got a good sound system. And I ended up uh, standing on the kitchen table, absolutely, I think, nailing uh, Without <laughs> Me by Eminem. Didn't miss a fucking beat. <laughs> it was good. That's all I remember. I don't know how I got home. don't know what time I went home, but it was good. Good times. I totally understand cocaine. It's brilliant. Was it recently? Or? Oh, no, it was a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Um, well, acids, acids, fucking weird. That scares me. I feel like it's yeah, so I'll, I'll go off the deep end. Yeah, so yeah. Been, I'm a good Catholic boy, so I'm not doing drugs. <laughs> but if I did, this time, the first time I took it, I was like, uh, theoretically, it, yeah. theoretically, <clears throat> I took a lot, and I was like, yeah, I can handle myself. I know what's going on. I know my brain. I was about 23, so you're really in that existential part of your life where you don't know what's going on, and it didn't go well at all, like to the point people put me in a room and was worried about me <clears throat> so to combat it i thought <laughs> last week was bullshit this week yeah. is the week i'm going to get into this it's going to go well i'm going to enjoy myself like everybody else theoretically and then uh it didn't and it went well worse <laughs> it went well well worse and then my friends came to my house the next day for a minor intervention they said you know minor like, intervention. Like, last night was just Acid man, you know it wasn't right. real. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're making me think it was. Like, what the fuck did I do? And yeah, that was like for me, that was that's that was the end of that. Never again. Yeah, Never acid's, again. Acid's brutal. Uh, I had a pill once. I 
I'm a bit scared of pills because you don't know what's in them. But um, it was it was, it was about a year after I finished up at the strip joint, and um, I had this mad crush on this one stripper, and like we were really good friends, and she got fired because she came up one day and just like grabbed me by the nuts as I was pre- announcing a show, and the dance man just like she goes, you can't do that, that's assault, and fired her. <laughs> what? Yeah, me too. Really yeah, me too. HR got HR and yeah. everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a assault. Yeah. It's called being a good friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, she'd grab it any day. HR yeah. are not a nine inch stiletto. You're fine. <laughs> black, black leather, ten, ten. Take pro- your clear heels and get out of here. <laughs> ten Croatian chicks just fucking banging. Anyway, so um, we met up for a couple of drinks about a year later or something. We had a laugh about the whole thing. And. Um, yeah, we're making out. Where was it? Um, someone in ACDC Lane, uh, Cherry Bar. Oh, I love it. We end up at Cherry Bar, and we only got in because we knew the bouncer because he worked with us back then. And we get in there, we're making out and all that sort of shit. It was fucking great. And then uh, she goes, "You want to try one of these?" I was like, "Yeah, fuck it, why not?" She hands me this pill, and it was in the shape of a Heineken bottle. She goes, "Have this. It'll be fucking brilliant." And I was like, "Yeah, fuck it. All right, I'll have one if you have one." Had one. Half hour later, I felt like I drank a slab. Mm. Like, I've never felt that shit before. What was it? I have no idea. <coughs> the so anyway, branding on that, though. That's yeah, sheer effort. It was, it was a beer it was, bottle. It was no, specifically Heineken. It was a Heineken bottle, same colour green. Yeah. Just, like, a pill, like, that big. And ended up back at my place at, like, 2am. And, you know, we're getting down to it and all that sort of shit. And, um go to have sex I just went limp <laughs> it was so bad she goes what the fuck's wrong with you I was like it's that fucking pill like what is this and uh yeah I've Definitely never had not Viagra oh no it was the opposite absolute opposite horse strangle lies in yeah. my life. <laughs> it probably was it actually probably was yeah um I've never had a girl leave my house so upset jeez yeah it was bad made up for it like a couple months later but still mm. not the proudest moment so we all know you pretty well three minutes into the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> does pills sleep with strippers? Yeah. Um, and a list of hate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do coke yeah, with you. Johnny, let's that. go over that. Let's go over the list of hate. No, I'm just joking. Let's You're not. making me sound better. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. I'm not even fuck. Where do I start? No, 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 no it's not. Are you going to put, are you gonna no, put no, context, you context this... into the list of hate? Or the list just... of hate. We... we, we Geordie's got a list of hate. Now, from open micers... <laughs> it's not an actual to room list. Runners, it's not an actual list. To people he's dated and, and his mind. sister. It's, a, it's, in my, it's in my head. The good sister. The, the good, good sister, sister. sorry. Good sister. <laughs> I've got a good sister and a shit sister. It's like uh, Wicked Witch of the East and the West. But um, Yeah, we've talked about it, and that's why she didn't invite you to the wedding. I reckon it was podcast <laughs> 15. We went, we went on a fucking... I think it was about a two-hour rant. <laughs> It's all about the sister. <laughs> I've got a lot of material on it. Um, yeah. uh, Georgia, if you're listening, it's not you, obviously. Um, it's the other one. The other one, yes. Oh, I'm not going to name it. You've just named the other one. So <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 Madeline, you're a piece of shit. Oh, no, he did it. Poor Madeline. Okay, the reason All she wants is okay. your love, man. No, she doesn't. <laughs> uh, she wants my money if I had any. Um, Okay, I didn't want to go to the wedding because uh, a couple of years ago we had a big D&M sort of thing and she goes, oh, okay, I don't recognise our dad as our dad. I was like, what? What do you mean? She goes, oh, he's never been there for me. And you know my dad? He's a lo- yeah, lovable character. As we've mentioned earlier, I've met your mom, your dad, and like half your family for some reason. And they're all really nice, the ones that Yeah. Yeah, so, they're the only ones you'll meet. So you're on the happy list. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> As I said before, if I hate you, I fucking I, hate you. If I, ever, if I ever meet another family member, I'm like, oh, you're one of the ones he likes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, they don't get invited to my birthdays. Fuck that. I want to enjoy myself. And, um, so, with this DNA, I'm like, how do, you, how do you mean you don't see him as your dad anymore? You go, oh, no, I, I, I recognize our stepdad as my dad. I was like, that's a bit disrespectful, isn't it? So, long story short, my uncle passed nearly 10 years ago. And my mum took custody of his daughter. So my cousin lives with my mum and she's uh, 16 now. And I pulled her up and I'm like, look, that's kind of fucked. Like, you've got a dad, you just don't want to build the bridges. 
kind of thing, whereas some people have lost their parents. Like, that's why she lives with you. But she just didn't get it. And then uh, skip to a couple of years, a few months ago now, and um, she's getting married to her high school sweetheart after she came out as a lesbian. Uh, We've about, all been there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you bought, you bought her a present too. Oh, yeah. Tell them about the present. Um, so Dad calls me one day and goes, this is about five or six years ago, Dad calls me one day and goes, have you spoken to your sister lately? I was like, no, why would I do that? And he goes, no, no, no she's got some news. Oh, fuck, all right. So I had to get a number off Mum because I didn't have it. And um, called her up and like, oh, Dad's, Dad said you got some news. And she goes, oh, fuck, did he tell you? I was like, no, what is it? She goes, oh, I'm gay. I was like, oh. And? She goes, what do you mean, and? I was like, well, do you feel better about yourself? Like, this is a weight off your shoulders kind of thing. And she goes, yeah, yeah, I feel great. I was like, okay, well, I'm happy for you. Is it a phase? She goes, why would you say that? I was like, well, you know, you've had like three boyfriends. I assumed you liked dick. And she goes, no, no, no. I... You said that to your sister. <laughs> I assumed you liked dick. <laughs> no, our first boyfriend was Richard. See that? But I'm to a Sorry, man. What? I call it as I see it. No, she's one of those people. She has to have fucking something. Like, it'll be someone's birthday and then she'll whip out some news about something like to make it all about her. I fucking hate it. Anyway, so... Um, I was like... I have to ask, is it a face? She goes, no, it's not a fucking face. I was like, okay, cool. So I tried to be a supportive brother and um, I was at a mate's place helping him clean out his shed and he had this framed bit of artwork sort of thing. I was like, how much do you want for that? He goes, I'll fucking take it. I've had it for years. So I rocked up at dinner because my sister had to call at dinner to tell everyone that she was gay. And not everyone would gay people, but let me finish. And I get there, I get a rock star car park out the front. And I'm like, oh, I've got a present for you. She goes, oh my God, is it a pony? But like, serious? And I was like, yeah, I bought a fucking ho horse float. I brought you a pony. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really get it. So I walk out to the car. The whole like the whole family's looking at me. The restaurant's like, the people in the restaurant, what the fuck's this guy doing? And I get out to my car and I pull this thing out. And I'm holding this framed poster. And it's of KD Lang's best of. And it's called All You Can Eat. <laughs> now, if you don't know who KD Lang is, she's a very iconic uh, lesbian, lesbian front woman. And um, I said to someone, like, look, I couldn't afford what I was going to get you. It was going to be like a lesbian starter pack. I was going to get you. I was, I was going to get you some... Bunnings membership. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good addition. No, I was, I was, I was going to get a, some, some denim, on, denim on denim and some blundstones and all that sort of shit. But blundstones are expensive and I don't like her, so I didn't do it. So I got her as a free gift. Now, that that poster, for lack of a better term, is still up in my mum's garage. So she, she didn't, didn't take it. She didn't take it. Ah, oh, she didn't find it funny. Mum, mum had the best look on her face. Oh my god, you can't do that. Um, so then skip forward, and uh, turns out it was a phase, and uh, she was marrying her her high school sweetheart, who is a man, and um, and he's he, not, a, not a lesbian. No, he owns a house. I think that's what the underlying thing is. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so harsh. Basically, no, I call it as a see. She's a piece of shit, and so like. <laughs> You started this story by saying that I was trying to be the supportive brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes support costs money and I couldn't afford bloodstones for myself, let alone my fucking shit sister. So, um, that's, what so he does, that's what he does with the open mic is at his room. I'm going to support you, mate. I'm going to fucking crush you. <laughs> I don't have open mic at my room for a fucking reason. Yeah. So we'll get to that. Hacks. Keep going, right. Keep going, keep going. So, <laughs> so she's having her wedding and this is as COVID's kicking in and my little sister and my dad and shit are coming up from Tassie and my little sister's broke. She's between jobs and they pick out a dress and it's like 500 bucks. And I was like, look, you know what really, I'm happy to help you. I'll pay for the dress. And she goes, no, you can't do that. Like you're not part of the wedding. And I was like, yeah, I know, but it'd piss off my sister if I bought you the dress. She goes, oh, it's too mean. And I was like, no, oh, fuck it. All right. So dad forks out five grand for the wedding. Isn't allowed to do a speech. Isn't allowed to walk her down the aisle. Oh, cool. really? so, so this wedding happened now, you said? Yeah. Okay. But how did he like get here? Ago. It wasn't he out. didn't. Locked, wasn't it locked down? Yep. Tassie, Tassie people weren't allowed out. So he paid for the wedding, wasn't allowed to be there. If he was there, he wasn't allowed to do a speech, wasn't allowed to walk down the aisle. Oh, gee. Wow. That was that's that's what, and that's why I don't that, like her. If a did that, dead right now. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I don't like her. You can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Well, so she's at the top of the hit list. Oh, 100%. But 
it seems like the list is long. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a mid ranger. Who's a mid ranger? The only person that maybe might have had a slightly longer list might be Schindler. It was Schindler's <laughs> list. Yeah, he's a he, yeah, no, 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 thinks he hey, no, 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 I don't know, he can't sing. Real. If, he, <laughs> if his sister's at the top, Santa's got to be close. You know what I mean? Pri priests are pretty close to the top. <laughs> oh, geez. oh, actually, you know what I watched last night? It really freaked me the fuck out. And Clementine gonna... Ford's at the top. The, the the one we talked about before. The, the feminazi, yeah. Yeah, feminazi. No, Epstein. Did you guys watch that on yeah, Netflix? Yeah, man. I haven't watched it on Netflix. Did we? I've seen it. He's do back. tell. Do tell. Ooh. He's back. He's yeah. back. Did he die? Yeah, no, he's he's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> this is so. This is a hoax. So yeah. daily, daily habit for me. Just repeat myself seven times. Cause... But the the actual the actual premise is all about him. Obviously, that you know he, he lost kids and did all that shit that we sold them, didn't he? Sold. Well, he did a bit of trading. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was like a pyramid scheme. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, it, it was he, said that, yeah. he said that so British. Yeah. Like, he's talking about the gross that he did a bit of trade. And <laughs> <laughs> no, what he did, that's funny. It was very yeah. like, uh, come over, like, I've got a couple of yeah, it's a pyramid and that. It's almost like he's got a winery or something. Got yeah, a yeah, eight was, year old vintage. He here, worked man. out a system where the chick that he was, he was dating this. It's not this, a child. Yeah. Sorry, British chick. He was dating this British <laughs> chick. English. Say English, that's the most important one. And she was the one that was recruiting. She recruited the first girl. And then the first girl recruited the next girl. Oh, Jesus. Then the next girl recruited the next... And it just kept fucking going. Yeah. And this copper pulled out a fucking, like a fucking board. And he sort of tried to explain the whole pyramid scheme. So it was literally like fucking a pyramid scheme. This one went to this one, then went to oh. this one, then went... And it just fucking started branching out. And what pissed me off the most... Is all the people that were connected to him have jumped on now and gone, he's an asshole, he's a prick. Yeah, of course it was. Because they're not getting paid anymore. anymore. You know? Yeah, but also, a lot of these old, these, these are old fucking cunts. Yeah, yeah. So they're all connected in some way. And I guarantee every single one of these fuckers were involved in this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Every single one. And that's what pissed me off the most. Is like, And they took advantage of people that, like one lawyer, oh, you've got to watch it. It's just fucking, it made my blood boil. <laughs> if I could fucking find that guy mate oh, yeah. give me half an kill hour him again. nah I wouldn't kill him I'd fucking I'd pour what I would anyway <laughs> give him a spot you don't want to get into this head give right him a spot now. <laughs> give yeah. him a spot at a particular you can't <laughs> tell us about your died that kind of death oh, <laughs> he actually turned around and um, the way they were recruiting all these kids they turned around and one kid got um, abused yeah and she had uh, three abortions. Jesus. He hired the best fucking lawyer that hired eight Epstein. This is Epstein, mind you now. I hired this guy to represent him, but he couldn't represent him in Florida. He goes, I'll find you the best eight fucking lawyers out there, and I'll, I'll be the number one player yeah. to show these guys what to do. He turned around. They went into court. He's actually asked that little girl. Now, can you tell me, was it worse having three abortions... Or getting fucked by Epstein. Oh. How the fuck would you say that to a 16 year old kid? Did you read this out? Yeah. Jesus. And he actually says this on the fucking Netflix thing. You actually, you hear the whole, and, it, and there's, you can see there's no remorse. He just, it's my job. Yeah. No, but that, that, that hiding behind that, it's my job. Oh. Like, uh, I watched that one about, um, there's this fella and he's from Eastern Europe somewhere and they think he's a Nazi. Oh yeah. What's it called? This, and uh, they think he's like one of the SS guards, one of the brutal motherfuckers that tortured yeah. people. Ivan the Terrible. Yeah, right? Ivan the Terrible. Yeah. So he's getting people with swords into gas chambers. That we're back on Jews again. I don't know how this has happened. Oh, yeah. But there is so, <laughs> not at the like, like, so, podcast. So he was like the, 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 the most evil. And they think it's this guy. And anyway, so the in America they they, they can't prove it or whatever. So they split the extradite him to Israel. Yeah. And this is like people that you've got survivors yeah, still yeah, there, man, yeah, still yeah. kicking around, they're furious. And this one sleazy fucking lawyer, like, he looks like a ferret. And he's like, <laughs> and he's, he's, you can tell he's just, nobody likes him. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And like, nobody will represent this guy because they don't want to betray the whole family by representing yeah, this yeah, monster. Yeah. And uh, so he says, I'll do it. And he's so proud that he's like, you know what I mean? And you're like, you motherfucker. Killer next door or something, right? 
kill the next door, that's it. He bloody works at Ford Garage or whatever. And then they'd rock in and say you're working for mm. SS. That's that's fine. How nuts is that? Wait, what's the time frame on this? Is this this is nineteen <coughs> I say seventies. Yeah. So they're all still kicking around all survivors. Yeah. They're yeah, in the yeah, courtroom, yeah. mate, like they're screaming, going, You're a fucking traitor, blah blah blah. And he's just some dude that works at the And it, it turns out yeah, he yeah. just looked like this other dude, they reckon. Yeah. But then, weirdly, I, I can spoil it for you because it's just history. But then the the Jewish people let him off because they're like, We can't kill this guy because that's what they did. Mm. You know what I mean? So they're like, oh, We're not. Right. We're, yeah. No, no, it's fair. There was man, it's an actual gentleman play. Mm. And then the Americans then say, All right, because you wasn't that, say. We're now going to charge her. Then he's in Germany or somewhere, and like, and he gets convicted of being a Nazi. Yeah. And and he's like nine years old. Is, is this still, a movie or a doco? It's, it's a, a doco. documentary. Oh, is he still okay. around? Dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I saw yeah. something similar. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was um, it was like the hunt for one of the last Nazis. And it was a really good movie. It came out a few years ago. But I can't fucking remember it. But they're apparently all in Argentina or something. Oh, yeah, they are like, like a German village, village, village in Argentina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. where they all speak yeah. German. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit sus. No, you got to watch it like that. That that part of it. Um, there's a whole, like you said, a whole community in fucking um, in Buenos Aires. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's just phenomenal. Yeah, but this is the thing about fucking war, right? And I'm not gonna. Uh, people are gonna do dodgy shit. Yeah. And I was telling to you last last podcast we did. It was in the sense of the Balkan War. Mm. I know guys here that have killed people. Yeah. Really. Yeah, fuck yeah. Not in war. But no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. no, no. I actually do. Like, there's, there's people around that... Because that was just in the 90s, right? That was in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. And the majority of them that got out of there, they've either... They, I won't say they're connected to the hierarchy, but they've done some shit. Yeah. And they've come to Australia, America, all these countries. Mm. And you sort of sit there and you go, well, they've got something to hide. If we're gonna go really start to dig in deep, it's yeah. it's it's it. War's never pretty. I don't give a fuck who says. Yeah, but Nazis were pretty much the yeah. worst country. There was a there was an episode of like. Yeah, yeah, but but we've also sorry. <laughs> Actually, I did read up about the Balkan War. Well, I mean, I know my history, and they also there was a bit of genocide in there as well, wasn't it? Was a, a bit, massive genocide. Bit of genocide. Bit, touch of genocide. <laughs> bit of uh, you know what I mean? We we did it all. We got it all. We got it all. <laughs> <laughs> It no, it's brutal. It's brutal. It's brutal. Well, brutal. Already, if someone, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I'm not defending. What's that English guy? The singer. The singer. What's his name? Fucking uh, Sting. No, not Sting. <laughs> <laughs> he was in John. No, 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 no. The, the, the '90s one. Fuck me. Seal. Gary uh, Glitter. Elton John. Oh no, small guy. Small guy. Small guy. Billy Idol. Leo Sale. No fucking. Where are you guys going? Not old one. He's he's young now. Fucking. Vanilla. No. Oh, ginger fella. Looks like a foot. A weasel. <laughs> you know what I'm about? Yeah, yeah, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Like no, 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 no. Before Ed Sheeran, just a little bit before Ed Sheeran. John Sheeran. No, John Sheeran. I don't know pop artists actually. I can, it was in the army. Oh, James oh, Blum. That guy. James Blum. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. saved the whole fucking town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, Bosnia. That. Oh, really? really? Yeah, yeah, He saved the whole town in Bosnia. He, he didn't pull the trigger or something, wasn't it? Well, no, he was the last one. They killed everybody else. And so he's come in, he's come in sort of Towards the end, is it tank driver? No, well, he sort of found where they were based, yeah. where, where it was all happening, and he got in there, and his platoon was coming after him, and he somehow fucking took out a whole <laughs> army, <laughs> army, <laughs> army <laughs> thing. But you need a slash shot that will stop this. <laughs> okay, dude. Sorry, I really need to call. <laughs> Continuity, Gary. Yeah, that's all right. Do you want a beer or something? <laughs> oh, There's some up there. So yeah, I'll put some in the fridge for you. I'm Sorry to interrupt the flow. <laughs> that always happens when we talk about Bosnians. <laughs> yeah, but Blunt did that actually. He actually stepped in. There's a whole. Man, I look at him on Twitter. He's like, my music's fucking shit. Why are you buying it? Like, he's, he's really good. He's funny. He's, he's really fucking good. funny. Yeah. Oh. He's, he's fucking hilarious. But he did, yeah, he did fucking, yeah. That's the whole thing. I mean, I don't know. I mean, fucking war at the best of times, not the best, I suppose. That sounded stupid, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's really for a good cause. Well, it's hard to say when you're, when you're recording, but um, you would have done some freaky shit, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was listening to this article, and this woman's 
hundred and whatever. And their granddaughter's got her on Reddit. So people are asking them whatever the fuck they want because it's the internet. Yeah. She's saying, oh, what did you think of Nazis and that? She said, well, I could go out, my ta- out in my town at 3 a.m. SS had walked through. They were the smartest, best looking. Yeah. We thought they were heroes. We thought they were fucking war heroes. We didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you like, if you put it like that, and then you're a little fella in the army, you're like, oh, these are sick cunts. These yeah, are fucking yeah. protecting my street. I'm not saying you would have fucking gas people, but you would have fucking shot people. Yeah. Oh, well, my old man told me just before he died, and um, it was fucking shocking. He actually told mum, and then mum told me, and, you know, it was basically he had cancer, and he's probably had uh, probably six months to a year to live. And he actually was, you know, opening up, telling shit. And he actually told her that the SS fucking fucking raped my grandmother. Fuck. And he saw it. Never, never fucking said that story in his life to anybody. And just before he died, he actually told mum that, which blew my fucking mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he, he had kept it and kept it and kept oh. it. And then one night, I was watching something, and then he started telling her, blah, 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 and this, the, the SS came into the house. They raped her. I saw it. They left her, and that was it. Was oh, upset about it, you know what I mean? Like, God. and how would you be as a kid? I mean, shit. Man, I'd kill a fuck. He would have been yeah. like, what was he, six? Oh, shit happened. And so, but it was scary. In that, in that time, it was fucking scary through, like, in, like my grandmother said, they, they were hiding. Like, the guys, not a lot of the guys would be fighting in the front line. Mm. And so they would stay in their town, or they'd block, sort of like part of the Montenegro, Serbia, or whatever, they get pushed around. And basically, what you'd do is, if you saw any of the SS, you just go up into the fucking mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just hide. Yeah. And then when when the Balkan War happened, one of my cousins um, actually she told us this story when we were there. What, 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 what was it last Christmas? And we're sitting around, we're just chatting away, and, and I said, "Well, how was it during, during that fucking time?" And she goes, "It's pretty hard." She goes, mm. "She goes, I had three kids. All the kids were under fucking, I think, under five years old." They came, they came into the house. As they came in, we thought, we're fucked now, we're all going to get raped. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And she's basically just standing there, and they're all walking around going, what the fuck's going to go on here? And she was purely and utterly lucky. They were like, where are the men of the house? And they're like, oh, they're not here, they're not here. Where are they? Tell us where the fuck they are. Well, they're not here. I don't know. They're, you know, they're gone. They're not here. And then basically they turned around, and one of the guys that was part of this sort of group that were coming, going town to town, Mm. goes I know you and she goes and she goes I looked at him and she goes I've seen him before yeah. and he used to trade with her brother fucking hell you know what I mean so yeah. like whatever business they were in they used to trade and shit yeah. and he go, and she goes and he goes are you and this, this and the person she goes yeah I am are your brothers this and this person yep boys out of the house let's go and that's how lucky she was that they didn't get raped there literally they were going from house to house to house, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just fucking <laughs> pillaging, and it's fucked. Because when you, <coughs> and that's the thing people don't see about war. It's like that's the shit you don't see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it happens. And it happens. Yeah. And nobody talks about it. They just keep it quiet. Yeah. It's... Sorry about that. <laughs> nah, it's not Um, just into the mics a little more, guys. No doubt. <laughs> yep, Gary's had a slash. He's back. He's. <laughs> you got enough. You got <laughs> enough for the war well, talk. Like, that is like my imagination. <laughs> did you did you get conscripted when you were when you were over this? Yeah, in Singapore. Yeah. Is that why you walked out in the war talk? You're like, this is it. I've seen. I was lashed a man for spitting up chewing gum in Singapore. <laughs> no, nah, oh, I do remember when the day chewing gum got banned. It was it was a rough day. I know you're just talking about the Balkan. Just talking about genocide. I tell you what, lads, I'm being through it. I mean, it. my mouth has never been so dry. We're talking about war, but I've seen some pain as well. When I lost the hubba bubba, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I was out, cunts! <laughs> it was not a grouse day. No. It was definitely not a grouse day. Did you, do, did you do two years? Yeah, two years. It used to be two and a half, and then it was like two batches later, it got reduced to two, which was my batch. And I was so happy. And what, what did they make you do? Just peeling potatoes and that? You don't, because you don't develop them. <laughs> no, you, you, <laughs> don't, you, don't, you don't go up in the army, you're just doing uh, soldiers. You, you either go into the army, police, or civil defense, which is like ambulance and fire brigade. I went into Oh, that's police. cool. Yeah. And uh, I, I actually, so after basic training, you get posted. And very few people actually get posted to like policemen on the ground positions. Most people are like 
you know, some clerical shit. I got posted to triple nine, which is like triple zero. Yeah, yeah, nine, nine, So nine, I was nine. one of these cunts answering the phone. We oh, were the really? first batch, yeah, first batch in. Wow. You worked in a call center. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you what, I've done a bit. I've done a bit. I've seen some sites. Yeah, they were like, oh, this, <laughs> this guy's idiot. I think call center's probably up here. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny though, when I came to Australia, my first, like, my first part-time job here, also call center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what you're doing? Sorry? Day one, you were on the phones, you had a, a, a rapport, you were saying, are they okay, are they breathing? What was you doing? Oh, in Singapore? Here? No, here. Yeah. Oh, I was actually doing, um, uh, what do you call it? Surveys. It, was, it wasn't like mm. cold calling, surveys for Hewlett Packard. And I was calling Singapore. <laughs> well, like, you have to call Singapore Malaysia and the interesting thing is we got paid a bit higher because apparently we spoke language other than English because yeah. apparently it's on my CV for some reason And um, but you, I only ever spoke in English and if the guy is like a Mandarin speaker I was like right, hold on let me yeah, just yeah. transfer you to my colleague make them do the work and <laughs> like, <that's laughs> the that was a good gig though it paid well it's fucking easy so what's, what's the main language over there in Singapore? Uh, there's four official languages, Malay, uh, English, Malay, Mandarin, Tamil, but everyone speaks English pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you've just got English, but it's on your CV that you're from Singapore. I mean, I can speak Malay and uh, I can speak Punjabi, but that's pretty much it. I speak a bit of Punjabi. Do you really? And all the swear words. Ben yeah, me too. Monipudi. What? Monipudi. Oh, Mali Pudding. Mali Pudding. I didn't know the accent you say. It means your mother's cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, I, I don't know about if, if like it's the Serbian language is the same, but I know like in Punjabi, in Malay, and in like Chinese, all the insults are about your mom, <laughs> yeah. your mom's pussy, your sister, fuck your sister, and I fuck your sister. Yeah, jo- yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the best one. Yeah. Sometimes you get calls and you hear like these Indian boys, they're like, Every, every second word is like, ah, oh, sister fucker, this and that. So, they're so angry because the tissue paper is slightly expensive or something. To just say that as like a bodily function. I remember having a run-in with a cabbie once. He, uh, he cut me off on a king street. Let's Sorry. <laughs> wasn't, so, it wasn't a joke. So he's mid-range. He's just a mid-range, hey? Oh. <laughs> This is a low level, low level. Uh, oh, daily interaction hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was more of a fleeting inc- in- incident. Um, cyclists are all at the medium hate, but uh, this guy, yeah, taxi driver is shit for the most part. And um, he cuts me off, like no indicating or anything like that. So I gave him a reasonable blast of the horn. And he stops and he pulls up next to me. And he winds down the window. And he, he said the first bit, it was summer, I had the window down and all that sort of shit. And he winds down the window. And he goes, you, I fuck, I fuck your mother. I fuck you. I fuck you. I fuck your mother. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. I was just like, fucking what? He goes, yeah, you, you, I fuck your mother. Oh, I was just like, ah. Uh, what was he trying to he was being, <laughs> That is not an Indian accent, bro. <laughs> it's, it's not. No, it's not. Too, it's not. That was I mean, Chinese. I am mean, yeah, yeah. too white for this shit. <laughs> no, it was just... It was just a multicultural mix, so no one could tell what it was, so I couldn't be it called a racist. It was generic foreigner. It was generic foreigner, yeah, exactly. Um, that, that happened to be Chinese. <laughs> Ch- Chinese, Japanese. Could have been Japanese, yeah. No, because if I say I thought he was Indian, he might have been Pakistani, then that's just worse. So ah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the Tasmania of, of... Yeah, anyway, so... He's given me that, and I've just said to him, Ah, oh, piss off, Penjot. And then just look at it, and Penjut is... Sister fucker. Yeah, and apparently it's a really bad thing to say, and the look on his face was fucking priceless. It was amazing. Jeez. Yeah, it was good. Did so, you, yeah. Did you get your dollar, dollar coffee at um, fucking 7-Eleven after that? Or no, no, I don't know how co- uh, quickly the network goes, so I was just like, <laughs> no, I fucked up. What's the good Serb, like, what's the good Serbian? I know Magarats, which just means donkey, right? Donkey, yeah. But what's the good... <laughs> the Serbian ones are, f- like, fucking hardcore, man. This is hard to say. Because I'm Montenegrin, so I'll, I'll play the line. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so okay, what's the Montenegrin one? If there's any Aussie well, shit, I'll take all the fucking, the language? They're all is the it? fucking same. Yeah. Um, we basically, <laughs> basically grew up, we, we, this is how fucked it was. We grew up um, learning Serbo Croatian. Yeah. yeah. Right? So it was a mix of both. So there's, there's some words that you, you know, you say slightly Serbian. And some were, so the more of the older sayings are sort of Croatian, if, yep. if that's the case, yep. you know what I mean? So we speak that way, the Montenegrins, but because <laughs> we come from coastal, 
up in the hills. There's a big difference in the just dialect. dialect. Yeah, yeah mm. massive, massive difference. Um, but yeah, it's like pitch uh, That sounds nice. Yeah, what was that? Can't. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> See, that's, that's, that's universal. That's a, that's a, that sounds like a nice dish. Kura. Yeah, it does. You, heard, you heard kurats. Yeah, that kurats. When we were shooting. <laughs> kurats. 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 Yeah, that. Yeah. Kurats, kurats sounds dick. like a good meat dish. Yeah. Though. Pass us that kurats. Put a bit of red sauce on it. It'll be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds like a pet name or something you call your yeah, dog. Yeah. Um, kurats. Um, kurats. It was funny actually when I went to Europe. When I went to Europe the first time, I was uh, I was eight, and I didn't know about fucking. Mm. I mean, nothing to be a fucking at that point. Oh, you're a late bloomer. All right. uh, well, I'm not fucking Aussie, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, how old were you, son? Oh, about six when I first fucked. <laughs> it depends when you meet your auntie's best friend, but yeah. And then all the wogs were asking me at that time, as a kid, you know, like, oh, let's have fun with the kid, you know what I mean? And not in that way. Um, <laughs> let's have fun with the kid, you know. So let's ask the kid what, you know, you know, how do you say fuck? And I didn't know how to say fuck. I didn't know what fuck was. So mm. I didn't know how to fucking say fuck. So I turned around and it was like, um, uh, Cock on the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so you you heard all these fucking guys in their fucking thirties, twenties, thirties, forties, just walking around bars going, Cock on the cunt. Cock <laughs> on the cunt. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but it actually goes in. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> hey, I was fucking eight. It's not right. that advanced yet, man. First step is just get it on. Just get it on. Let's talk about in the tone. <laughs> Oh, what about what about English? I mean, like you know, cunt. <laughs> no, we don't really. We uh, you say that that's very more. It's quite Aussie. Aussie sort of similar. You don't. Yeah. It's not that offensive. You can't say it in America. Uh, yeah, my sister she saw one. Americans are soft. My sister lives in LA, and then she mm. saw one of my posts on Facebook where I just casually said, like, I wrote cunt. Yeah. <laughs> and it was something like you know, oh, there's a bunch of sick cunts there or something. Mm. And then she was like, she messaged me. She was like. You actually wrote that on Facebook. You have to do the whole like, thing. I was like, here, it's not a big thing. Like, it's no big deal. And yeah, I think Americans they take it the worst. Though, they? Yeah, the Jimmy worst Jeffries worst. had a hard time with because he would say "cunt" all the time. And then when he, I think when he first started doing comedy, there people were horrified. And then he yeah. reckons he was like the the guy who like set the bar. Yeah, yeah it's like bring it okay to say "cunt" because everyone's like, "Oh my god, you can't say it." Yeah, jerk. And he's like, he's like, well, you know. They, they let me get away with it because they just go, oh, he's foreign. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, know right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, Aussie, the Aussie language, the Aussie language is fucking lazy. Let's, let's call it space. I love it. But it's, it's, it's too lazy. How do you mean? Look, you know, Robert. Robert! <laughs> fucking. Oh, yeah, we're lazy. Benjamin. Benno! But they're it's obsessed, like, they're obsessed, obsessed I, with it, though. Yeah. I heard Servo, someone, Aspro, Despro. Yeah. <laughs> Aspro. I heard someone tell, the, on? tell the really sad story. Then he was like, oh, yeah, mate, we were completely devo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> said, I know a guy who's a Russian dude and his family moved here as refugees and he's like yeah in the 60s we refoed <laughs> it's, I mean, it's so casual I'm not one of those Aussies <coughs> that, that's some real bogey you have shit. a very uh, surferish accent what the fuck does that mean it's, it's very it's, very, not, very, it's, not, uh, it's not really that well Aussie. spoken from Australian <laughs> You don't speak well. Don't know, a I mean, you don't speak well at all. No, <laughs> but for an Australian, no, it's actually poetry. You know I mean? <laughs> it's the Shakespeare. No, I like it, mate. But the more country, the better. The Queenslander, the better. Yeah. Queensland's like really, really whiny. Oh, no. Yeah, no, we ain't got out of here, sick cat. Bingo, bango, motherfucker. I love it. Yeah, love it. Yeah, Absolutely. Fucking nice. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what we signed up for when we became. We thought we were going to be Nick Dundee day one. We were going to be shooting kangaroos and none of it happened. Riding emus. Mm. Yeah, no, fuck that. Turns out you just make coffee. And mm. <laughs> And that's your entire economy, coffee. <laughs> but that's what the whole fucking well, Europe. Well, I'm talking about the Balkan side of Europe here. They were not when you go over there. They, they think Australia is just fucking sharks. Yeah. The spider, mm. the worst spiders in the world. Oh, yeah, we and we have seen. fires every fucking day. <laughs> so that's pretty true. Though. That is we, pretty we true. Right? Yeah, oh no, but it's like fucking hell. Come on, we're more than that. But are you? 
Let's <laughs> examine it. Let's break it down. Yeah, we got no. We got things. Don't look at me. Look at him. <laughs> no, we, no, we got things way more dangerous than spiders and snakes and what? sharks and shit. People are nice. Well, that too. And I was gonna say pedos on the loose. Like you just can't fucking. No, but they're them. everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's worldwide. They are, but we catch Ten them. And, no, but like we catch and release them. It's like if you had a dangerous catch shark at the beach. You told people not to go to the beach, but for some reason we just let them go yeah, them back in. Do the thing. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Girls on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, have yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 I can say fuck. Why is yeah, why is somebody else? Bro, there's not a dig on you, I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, we are, mate. We are, mate. But this is the thing about the podcast. I was asked I'll be the girl. When was it? Two weeks ago? Yeah. What this podcast is about. Yeah. And it's just basically just a bit of bit of fun. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. That's we don't want to offend anybody, but we're trying to offend everybody. No doubt. <laughs> and there's no. It's not about just offending anybody. It's just about you know talking, yeah, talking it's shit. That's, really a, that's an open dialect. Yeah. Hmm. If you want to talk, you can talk. That's my big word for the day: dialect. Um, that, that's you done for the year. <laughs> <laughs> Once you had the O on that dialect. Uh, <laughs> no, <that's laughs> He's got an Aussie, you know, he's got the, the dialogue. The dialogue. The dialogue. Yeah. 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 He's got the dialogue, can't. Get ex- <laughs> Go on, champion. Actually, no, when people say I've expanded my vocab, no, you haven't. Vocabulary, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. I learned last week and they were talking about cars, and that's where I was the uh, female. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too, me too. And if that offends you, I don't know. I mean, cars. I don't know anything, no. mate. And they were talking about. Stuff I, I don't know what they were talking about. They were just saying so, words. Someone, someone asked me about my, like what car my mom drove. I was like, it's a Ford something. It's a Ford I don't mm-hmm. know. Like it's a car. Go four doors, I guess. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> shit. <laughs> like it always surprises me when someone's like, oh, that car that drove past it was a '92 blah blah blah. Like how the fuck? Did yeah. you, I barely saw the color. Yeah, that's you know? right. <laughs> it's a part of being a mechanic, I guess. I oh, thank God. I thought you were gonna say it's part of being a man. <laughs> No, I'm the bitch here. No, 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 no. No, we get women here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like a lie. We do. No, no, we do. We do. I feel like we had seven on last week. Yeah, we had women on. Yeah, we've had women. Yeah, we've had women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any good? Yeah. Not really. Not fun, John. I mean, they were good, but they wasn't funny. Actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna cut you off there. That actually were. Was they could actually swear and they they, they were yeah, pretty. So, we've yeah. had some. We've it's, had, a, it's a safe space. Well, yeah, we've had some yeah. decent. Of course. Yeah. It's, it's a safe space without being Voltaire. Let's. Well, I'm gonna ask you something. What is a safe oh, where, space? Where are they on your level? Fuck, let's go to Voltaire. Where are they on oh, your level? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Voltaire for the comics? Pretty high. Um, they're, they're the comics who joke about like being on a tram and how relatable it is, and the hipsters are comedy. Yeah, and the guy the guy looks like a little, little Mexican with the stuff. What's his name? What's his name? Oh fuck, what is his name? Uh, Vasquez. That's it. So he's Mexican. One of the most unfunny cunts I've ever met. It's like... Yeah, those comics Poor are just like, they say something. He's giving you his best tram lines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you're sitting there going, this Mexican. You're such a racist, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Some of my mates think I'm Mexican. Like, uh, there's nothing about him being Mexican. It's just like, I fucking hate comics when like they say something that's like... <laughs> I actually knew like, him. Wait, wait, I'm going to cut you off there. I knew a Mexican when I was about 12. That doesn't make fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that out there. There was, like, was a mic drop moment. I like <laughs> no, no, these are way too expensive. So I'm that no, one. I'm so I'm uh, the biggest authority in this room. <laughs> no, it's just like a fucking one up group. I once ate funny. Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Off. I love Mexican food. I fucking shagged them. I had Mexican food come through me once. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another story. I was dating a Mexican chick for a bit. It was fucking brilliant. But no, like, it, it's just... Oh, where is she on your level of hate? On your hate list? Oh, no, that was no, that was brilliant. No, no. Oh, no. Was well, she hot? Either. Like a hot Mexican? Oh, yeah. Or like one of those fucking... Dirty. You know, with yeah. the little fucking... What do they call those? You know, those, those things they put out there. The poncho? The poncho, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Was no, she, she was acclimatised. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. No, she didn't need a poncho. Was she definitely Mexican or just... No, no, no. No, she, no, she, she, Honduran, you no, 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 no. <laughs> no, she was, she was like... <sighs> Proper Mexican. God, I'm going to dig myself. Mexican Australia? Get out of the hole. If she was that lovely... No, 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 she was Mexican, Mexican. I can't remember, but no, she... How'd you meet her? In Mexico? 
Tinder. Mexican Tinder? No, no, no. <laughs> she was just in, <laughs> no, she was just in my area than in my bed. <laughs> no, it was good. Tinder. What? what? Tinder. <laughs> i got to get on that Mexican Tinder. My wife never find me there. <laughs> Jose Tinder. Tinder. No, um, <laughs> no, um, no, she, uh, is she, there any chance that you might meet her again? Because I'd probably one not. day we could be at your wedding and we could be that's a Mexican. That's a Mexican. He's <laughs> that is about, the Mexican. It turns no. out she's from Argentina. No, but that's okay. Is. That's okay. <laughs> no, she wasn't a Nazi, but no, she, um, or that she could be really Mexican and we could have a Mexican standoff. <laughs> <laughs> that would be even worse. <laughs> Who's going to come first? No, it was just the... No, she, uh, she broke out into uh, speaking Song. her native tongue. <laughs> Song. Mid-shame, mid one night. Just to let you know, I am really Mexican. Oh, God. She could have been Aztec for all I know, I don't fucking know. But no, that's, what the, that's what I was thinking of. You know, there's people up in the fucking mountains and shit. Yeah. What that, that she looked like that, so she looked hotter than that. What are you talking about? No, I know what he's talking about. The, like the, the, the native. The native she, she didn't native live in a pyramid, if that's what you mean. Yeah, with the no, beanies and those things hanging down them. In the indigenous that's the South American. <laughs> <laughs> what documentaries have you two Well, that's what it is. So you've got the Spanish that invaded and, and, and killed everybody with mm. flu. Okay, and she spoke got, Spanish. But, but every, every, everybody's mixed now. So if you live yeah. in a, it might be Honduras, but if you live there anyway, you can smoke weed and you can grow weed. If yeah, you're, she like if you're weed. indigenous, mm. yeah, she like but weed. But if you're not, you can't. Okay. And everybody's like the same anyway. So it's all I remember. Thing if she even, was she just really tan? <laughs> <laughs> she was from no, did, she, did she just like really like guacamole? No. And you're like, oh shit, I found a Mexican. You know what? Girl. I know a great nut to so place. She's yeah. like Sarah from Fitzroy. <laughs> <laughs> Came back from Bali with a hankering for nachos. No, um, no, her English was real broken, and um, she was teaching me Spanish or Mexican, or whatever the fuck it is. And a couple times mid. How's she Spanish then? No. I don't know. She could have been Argentinian. Uh, I've got this. Tu tienes los ojos muy precioso. Something pretty. You've got beautiful eyes. <laughs> and that's all I've got in Spanish. Making me blush, John. It's not. I've, no. uh, I lived in Spain for a while. Did you hear any words like that? She started speaking in her native tongue when we were doing it one night, and that really yes. worked for me. And, uh, really? Oh, it did yeah. it? No, it did. Oh, yeah. Was well, no, she just did. yelling out, Hey Zeus! Hey Zeus! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fucks with the Jesus. No. Um, no, she started speaking in her native tongue, so I made that a thing. It was great. That's quite hot. It, it, it but was. what language would be gross, that, you know, if like someone started German. speaking the native yeah. German. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. no. American. Uh, Chinese. I think it's kind of Chinese, uh, and the, uh, this is going to offend people, I don't care. Sounds like <laughs> a record in reverse. <laughs> Does it not? Well, I'm from Singapore, so it sounds fine to me. You know the, uh, when uh, Missy Elliott did the put your name down, flip it in reverse? Or uh, <laughs> oh, that so great Chinese song that we all know. <laughs> can you speak Chinese, just see if we can test? I mean, I know a few phrases. Hokkien, Hokkien is the one you... you no, you learn vulgarities. Oh, Hokkien. Hokkien. That's a noodle, isn't it? I thought that was a noodle. It is, yeah, it is a noodle. Hokkien noodle. <laughs> give, us a, give, a, a, give us a full sentence. I don't know. I know curses in Hokkien. There's like chao chi bai, that, which is stinky cunt. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> say it. Just like come in handy. Chao chi bai. And then one of my favorites is kan nin nabe chao chi bai, which is fuck your mother smelly cunt. Say it again. Kan nin nabe chao chi bai. Do it in the accent. Though. That's the accent. No, that you no, sound accent. like in your accent. That, sound Kali, like, Nabi, Chow, that was too Indian. Yeah. Do it. It's not Indian. It's not Indian. Can it be Indian? Indian. Chow, it no, definitely no, sounds. Chow, it's yeah. not. It's not a sexy language. Yeah, they're no, very, no, they're very. Okay. Hokkien is the language but... of like ordering stuff at the shop when you want your noodles <laughs> and all that. You're like, hey, great deal. It's good. Great deal. You know, like. No, that's Mandarin, by the way. But. No, if she broke out in German, that'd be amazing. No. Oh, you know what? One of my friends from uni. She's Chinese Singaporean, and she had this white boyfriend who definitely had the Asian fever. And one of the first things he asked her once they got intimate is like, "When we're in bed, can you speak Mandarin?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and the just, thing is, like, just her read Mandarin, the menu. Her yeah. Mandarin sucks. So it'll be like primary one level, like the fan is on. <laughs> I dated um, I dated a girl from Hong Kong when I first got to Melbourne, and um, Diu Lei. She. 
she, uh, I was like, in. she's a very attractive girl and she, she spoke another language. Like, I'm fresh to the country, it's amazing yeah. to me. I'm like, so. And your people owned Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, like, like, go on, give us that language. No, I'm not, I wasn't like that. But I was very interested in, like, I said, it's awesome, speak to me. She's like, I don't know Chinese. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. Next. Anyway, went to a Chinese restaurant about a month later. She ordered in Chinese and spoke fully in Chinese. Was it Cantonese? What it was some I don't know, mate. It was some like uh, whatever you speak in Hong Kong. Yeah. Some sort of Cantonese. Cantonese. <laughs> Cantonese. And it was beautiful. And yeah. I was like, why would you hide that? What 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 were you achieving? Oh, you guys were racist to them back in the day. No, no, no that wasn't me. That was me. Them, okay. them you guys were them guys. <laughs> they ended up coming here. You know what I mean? That, they were the worst to of us. We said chip them. <laughs> <laughs> No, but like the Singaporean chicks, they're hot. No doubt. They, they I mean, hot. there's a lot of not. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, but that's it. That's it. Yeah. You know what? I, you know what I've never done. I will probably still never do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the edit. Well. Good that's right. Well I'll, done. Well done. I'll take one. Right. Well, I'm just gonna listen to this no <laughs> anyway. Can I also add the disclaimer that obviously I'm from Singapore and drugs are illegal, so <laughs> all these drug talks are hypothetical and joke. <laughs> yeah, of course, I would never try any no. drugs. Yeah, no, mine's not Melbourne based. Yeah. You'd be alright if it's Melvin based. But no, I've never tried any drugs, so. No. Try some of this? <laughs> Panadol is as far as I go. I don't, um, I don't dabble, just just for the record. Snort Panadol, don't you? You may dabble, yeah, you snort. <laughs> or English, English birds. English yeah, birds, 100%. as they like to be referred to. No, no, but like that. Industry. <laughs> Slags. No, like, Slags. That's but not, no, 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 like English. the English birds that are, you know, like that, um... My mum's English, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> right. I thought she was Mexican. <laughs> no, no, but you know when they talk that real English? You know, like, you know, like, come in, you know, you know. Scousers. Like, yeah, we don't speak like that. No, uh, so, no, 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 no. The region I'm from, I'm from the north, and we, mm. and... And it's this accent on I a like woman. I love it. So this accent, accent's yeah. not great on a guy, but on a woman, it's really? so it's not very sexy. <laughs> Do you, okay, what's um, your favorite accent for like for a girl? For a girl, uh, like something that Spanish, Spanish is up there. Yeah. Australian, your... my wife's Australian. It's Australian. What's your? I like the yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I still reckon the English. English, English accent. The yeah. English accent. No. Just I'll bit, tell my mom. I'll tell good. my mom. Johnny, uh, <laughs> Johnny, what's what's your favorite accent? Like, what's a hot accent for a girl? German. Really? What is wrong with you, mate? You are so metal. He's unbelievable. <laughs> like, you just exude just doing your commands in there. Exude. No, he's a real writer. Oh, just my favorite is oh, um, German. Yeah, it's amazing. I think Irish and French. <gasps> oh, God. Irish, yeah, Irish or Irish German. accent. Even on a guy, not that. Yeah, Irish but I can't understand the Irish. No, no, not like super Irish. But oh, like yeah, a little you, you, you TV, TV Irish. Irish. TV Irish. If you can get on TV, yeah. it means we can understand <laughs> it. Oh, okay. I love the and way it's good. Irish people, uh, Irish girls, like that accent. But they're not they're pretty. pretty. Yeah, they are. They're gorgeous. Oh, He's yeah. so yeah. offensive to Irish people. He's so big. You're not fucking. I'm going to call the word of a I'm a I'm a third offended because I'm I'm also a huge fan Irish. of Dolores O'Riordan, lead singer of... Um, oh, she died, didn't she? That was yeah. the lead singer of... Um, yeah, it's good. Cranberries. So Cranberries. The, uh, Cranberries. Oh, I was on a radio show. I was on a radio show a long time ago, and there was me, I'm English, and there was a, an Irish guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not Mexican? No, I'm, I'm definitely not Mexican. And the, um, <laughs> See. There was me, an English person, another guest who was an Irish person, uh, so the host at the time thought it would be a great idea to play Zombie as an intro track, which is about oh. the troubles in Ireland. Oh, 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 it's about how we uh, definitely killed each other for a very long time. Oh, and Jesus. welcome, John and Mark. And he was like, oh, uh, sorry about that, Mark. It was not me. <laughs> and I support you guys. Oh, oh no. God. Mm. Irish oh, and French, man, are my favourite accents. But French, not for guys. Sorry, Julian Furness. <laughs> Like French, when girls speak French, God, I mean, you mean they speak English with a French accent? God, God I, I think it's very nah, pretentious French. French. Yeah, yeah, it's very it's annoying. Yeah. I'm not saying I like the people. I like the <laughs> it's like a you know, posh English accent when you just want to punch them. 
Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. like, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I don't mean that English. I mean, no, no, you mean the rough the dry dry Fucking, we're on the beach, man. We're fucking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> probably, oh. That's where English people do it. Probably, <laughs> probably, 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 do it. <laughs> probably not Mancurian. Yeah. Mancurian. So not the Geordie Shore kind of accent. Oh, no, no, that freaks me out. Oh, no, the, isn't the, that just northern? Is that northern? No, northern? that's very north. So, like, uh, People from that area are called Scottish people with the brains kicked out. Like they're very, <laughs> <laughs> they're very Scottish Northern. is one of the hardest accents for me to understand. Like when someone's like fully hard. Scotch. My brother's Scottish. It's very that's not a joke. He, he is Scottish. And they're the most miserable bastards you've ever met in your life. <laughs> yeah, but they're scary. They're, part, they're scary. They, oh my god, they're so they miserable. Everything's misery. Everything's misery. Misery, misery, twenty four seven. It oh, becomes yeah. so much that if you don't start laughing at it, you will kill yourself. Like, they're so <laughs> miserable. And my, my dad and my brother Scottish, if I've offended any of you miserable bastards out there. <laughs> they probably like it. Yeah. It's an add to their pain. <laughs> you, they love it. They love it. Anything that gets Can I say in. something, though? I think one of the most gross accents has to be the Indian accent. Oh, that's offensive. That's true. <laughs> I can say it. I'm Indian. No. no. I like the Indian. I think nah, nah, a, bit, a, not, bit, man, a big to differ. Nah, nah, nah. I've got relatives who are from India. Fuck me, the thing is, their shit's annoying. No, like it's, it's so like a little aggressive. musical. It's really oh. musical. It's do 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 do. I like it. I'm a fan of Indian. I don't like musicals, so I'm gonna agree. <laughs> no musicals. I fucking hate musicals. Have you ever seen the one about? Uh, yeah, but there is a difference between younger Indians talking and older Indians. I think, in the sense of the... the Why are you not a doctor? Yeah, that's Who true. did that accent? Because if it was you, <laughs> it was Johnny, you need to get out of this place in the corner, man. You need to get back <laughs> away. Leave the accent to the person <laughs> in the room. Yeah, yeah. Which countries haven't you offended yet? Are there any Icelandic people you hate? Fuck me all. Oh, Iceland's a nice language. Icelandic? Thor, Thor, Thor. Is it Thor? What's his name? Thor, yeah. Mountain guy? Uh, oh, yeah. the mountain. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's Icelandic. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to piss him off. But he, so he'd never off. catch you. You know what I mean? Just run right back of him. <laughs> he's never gonna get you. That's like a human boy. But have you yeah, seen, yeah, have you yeah. seen him talk? Yeah, he's right, really. He looks like he's got a stroke. One side of his mouth doesn't move. Oh, I saw something the other day about what he eats every day. So he eats. He gets up yeah, seven a.m. Eats. Get nine a.m. Eats. Eleven o'clock. Eats. Mm. Four bored. o'clock. Eats. Dinner. Eats. That was with that Aussie guy. Was that when he was eating to see? What he eats during the day? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck me. And he just like it's That's a chore. Really it's a chore. Yeah. He just he just eats brown rice and mm. chicken. How yeah. do you afford that? He's uh, he's he much it well, didn't he? He was a basketballer, he, skinny basketballer. He held the world. And then he thought, I want to get big. Yeah, he's and he achieved his goal. He's massive. That that well, mountain guy. Though? Didn't he hold the world record for like deadlifting at one point? Yeah, he just got it. He so, deadlifted like a yeah. thousand then pounds. Then the the previous strongman in world, he's British guy. And he's apparently wants to fight with him. He wants yeah, to fight with him. He wants to Because he's like, oh, you, you didn't do it right, or I don't yeah. know. But you, you see how strong man it was. Oh, wait, they're going to fight each other. Oh, it's oh, it's, it's yeah, the they're mountain they're against the beast. Yeah. Oh, wicked. Yeah. Oh, what's that? It's going to be awesome. But Eddie Hall's done well. Like, I've been following these mm. two guys, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. And fuck me, Eddie Hall's like, he, he's actually, for a guy that's probably, I would say he's about what? What would you say? Wait, probably be about. Just under two hundred kilo. Fuck. Just under two hundred kilo. Yeah. Mm. Right. But he's actually ripped now. Mm. Okay. So he's bulk but ripped. Mm. And he's a monster. Yeah, he is. Okay. Is here's, here's a question. Yeah. Is it is it an achievement when you you know tweak with your body that much that you potentially can't wipe your own ass? Well. Yes. Yeah, I think it's it. If you could say I am the strongest man in the world well, ever, the I can fifth, pay people to wipe my bum. Strongest is pretty impressive. Even fifth, yeah. But then you got to remember, I'd rather wipe my ass. Guys that are so big, then they're, they're not physically that strong. Mm. Like bodybuilders, yeah. Yeah, they're not strong. Yeah. They're just they've just bulked up on roids. Yeah, so yeah. technically, it doesn't tell you that they they haven't got they haven't got strength. Yeah, yeah. Right, so they can power lift, yeah, definitely. He can lift two, three hundred kilos. Yeah. But he can't consistently do that. But who would you rather have a look like? Would you rather look like the really strong fat dude? Or the Arnold Schwarzenegger so like steroid this dude? Or Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> but, but the mountain, he doesn't, he's not like fat or anything. He's fucking ripped and buff. Yeah. And he still competes. Mm. Like, no, he helps he doesn't have seven a foot. Gut. I was saying he's cheating. So he's, he's, what does he wear? 250, I don't know. Yeah, he, he wears a lot. Yeah, and he's, he's got seven foot. 
He's so for him to lift like 500 jeans. kilo, that oh, doesn't seem impressive. That's like me lifting 100 <laughs> kilo because he's probably five of me. So yeah. we should it should be proportionate. We should say ton or piss off. <laughs> you Icelandic prick. Honestly, there we go. <laughs> we're in Iceland. We've done it. Yeah, good luck fitting on a plane to right, come over and kick my ass. Have you ever banged a, uh, a muscly chick? Question for you because you asked it and I feel like you have. And you no, I actually, I just, one, of my, one of my mates has, and I asked him, was it like fucking a dude? Mm -hmm. And he, he goes, he, he, like he's a bodybuilder, yeah. So he's full on into the fucking boys yeah. and the whole lot. And he goes, it felt like I was banging a, a bloke. Yeah, mm. I, don't, just, I don't dig six packs on women. Yeah, it's a bit freaky. That makes me feel bad about myself. I, co I couldn't. Do if that. you haven't got one, and they have, yeah. Yeah, they piss off. Yeah. It makes me feel like shit. Can we turn the light off, please? Yeah, it's just a bit. Mm. <laughs> no, but then you've just got to touch the six pack <laughs> in <laughs> the dark. That's well. Can I feel yours? Um, <laughs> no. Oh, I thought you said it to me. Can we turn the light off? <laughs> 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 Next time. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. No, I'm not into that. No, that. That's and plus, and plus, bodybuilders smell like shit. It's, it's all the shit coming out of them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, mate, I was on a train once, right? The big fella got on, <laughs> bodybuilder, big, big fella. And it's like 6 a.m. And he sat next to me because I'm on tube. And he, I'm like, why the fuck is this motherfucker sat next to me? Anyway, so I think weird out because he was massive and you wouldn't. So I was like, oh, that's all right. <laughs> and then, mate, he did this protein part. And I swear right. to God, yeah. 12 o'clock midday, I was still gaping. Like, that was the <laughs> yes. worst thing I have <laughs> ever <laughs> smelled. In, yeah. it, and you know, like you say, this is a, that is the worst thing I've ever smelled. Yeah, in my it's life. so bad. And they sweat it, and it's like, ugh, have a shower. But yeah. Please. It's, yeah, no, it's gross. Yeah, it's fucked up. But you can't tell them, because they probably. You can tell them, you can get away with it. If you're my size, you get away with a lot. Because if he hits <laughs> what, me, he that's out run. and out bullying. You know what I mean? That's really, like, he's really a bell end. It's body shaming. So you get away with a lot. If you're close to their size, you might get punched. I reckon the bigger someone gets. The less, uh, what's the word? Um, Big the dick No, nah, the less personality they Bullshit, get. Bullshit, man. Well, fuck, I'm huge, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those tiny fellas, we've got massive pieces. <laughs> we've got massive ones. But isn't it a thing, like, those people who are all juiced up, that apparently their dicks get No, it's your balls, because your ball produces uh, uh, testosterone, yeah. so your body doesn't naturally produce it. And then for ladies, it's the reverse. They take heaps of... The ovaries go small. No, their balls get bigger. Oh, really? <laughs> Apparently they have clits that look like yeah, clits are like fucking like dicks. Yeah, you yeah, get clit dick. Yeah, yeah. dick. Yeah. Yeah. That Man, sounds like a dick in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Mexican. <laughs> I still feel bad that I said that I hate the Indian accent and no one backed me up. No <laughs> one is going to say it to the only Indian in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's <laughs> no, it's not. It's a decent accent. No, it's well, but it is actually a nice accent. It's just yeah. That actually makes me really glad that you guys like it. I still don't, but that's okay. <laughs> but you haven't got it. You haven't got it. You've got an American, American accent. Yeah, you've got a mix. Yeah, you sound American as fuck. Yeah, he's yeah, so funny. Yeah, Singapore's like very American English. No, no, it's actually very British. I mean, we were a British colony. Wasn't so me. Just... Don't look at me when you say it. It's <laughs> <laughs> my fault. I never it's said. Like, it. All you know, we should do. We should we're all into Singapore and fucking rape and pillage. No, I never said that. No, the British never fucked over Singapore. No, they were gentlemen. They came in. They were actually fine. Like, yeah. and, but, but the British had like one of the worst defeats of World War II when Singapore fell. Like, Churchill called it the worst defeat in British history. Oh, really? When Singapore fell. Yeah, it was really bad. Well, who, who did it fall to? The, the Japanese. Oh, really? The Japanese, yeah. Because they, they expected them to come from the south, so they had all the guns pointing south. And, and the Japanese came from the north via Malaysia on bicycles. Because they were like, oh, fucking it's going to take them like five days to, to march. Yeah, and yeah. The Japanese were like, no, we're going to fucking Lance Armstrong our way down. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like they a, they a were nice there, movie. The British it? are like, oh, they'll be here Friday. <laughs> Monday, <laughs> these cunts show up. We're like, all right. And the Japs were actually um, outnumbered. The British actually had more troops, but they were so aggressive. And then the I think the Japanese general had a meeting with the British. And then he was like, we demand your surrender. And the British were like, oh, these people are going to fuck us over. If they had actually fought, they would have won. Oh really? So intimidated by the the crazy shit that went down, so it actually fell to the Japanese. Yeah, look at Jack. You never <laughs> faulted Japanese now, would you? They're, they're such nice people. They're just gamers. I went to Japan last year. I was in Japan last year with a few of my friends, and we're all Singaporean. And 
we have to it was like an episode of uh, faulty towers we just kept telling each other like just don't mention the wall don't mention <laughs> the wall don't get drunk and mention but the did wall. you go to hiroshima we were on the train past it and that was it. No, yeah, no, we can't trust ourselves. We'll definitely bring it up if we go there. <laughs> well, yeah. it, home. Did, it yeah. did occur to me when I was in some places, you see like some old ass Japanese dude, and they were fine. Mm. But, you know, he's like in his 80s, and you're like, I bet once upon a time, if not him, a friend of his, an uncle, like someone was probably in the Imperial Army. Like some yeah, of these yeah, people yeah. were probably Japanese soldiers, oh, were yeah. still around and did God knows what. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but they're very racist. I'll say it. Well, we'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say something racist about racists. You should rename this podcast to like racist and hate, accents and hate. Two wrongs make a right. No, I was there, I was there two years ago. Yeah, I was there. Whether they were racist, you do feel some racism. Well, Anna lived there. My missus, oh, yeah. my missus lived there for a year and a half. Which part? Uh, <laughs> Downtown <laughs> Tokyo. The whole the same bro. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know. Fuck, this she isn't live streamed. Yeah. I don't know. She lived at some part. Um, well, keep talking, keep talking. It's alright. Are you googling where she lived? No, no, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I was kind of bracing myself for some like unfriendliness or yeah. whatever because I've heard some stuff about no, they're, they're nice they're very nice very yeah. I mean I guess you know, I've only ever had long with Japanese yeah, people it's just it's fucking safe said though, right? it's so safe that um, I remember I was walking some part of Tokyo <laughs> what about I thought it'd be like Yakuza and that you'd have a bit of it that probably is but you know you don't see them no you don't mm. see, you don't see them and she, she actually <laughs> saw them. she actually did see a few of them yeah. she was working at a hotel and they'd come in oh well that's what she's told me I mean the story she told me I don't know um, but yeah, she's like they that serve them and shit like she's got photos and shit. She's dressed up as a Japanese person. A geisha. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> feet crammed into a size two. This this is how. Now serve me, woman. <laughs> Horrible. This is, this is how nice the Japanese people are. We were there for the rugby world cup. It was after some game, and we were in like I think Osaka or something outside a pub. The pub's just going nuts, right? Mm. Maybe a capacity of a hundred. It's probably five hundred people just spilling out in the street. Everyone's drinking. There's people doing lineouts on the street with the rugby ball, playing little matches and everything. Like it's chaos. I mean, as chaotic as you can get in Japan. And <laughs> for like foreigners, like us, filthy foreigners, and like heaps of French people and English and Scottish, all just being really rowdy. And then the cops come. And they just kind of stand around, and when someone's doing like really horrendous shit, jumping over cars, they're just like, hey, hey, please, please, please. And they're just like so nice. And I <laughs> asked yeah, one of the well, cops, can I take a picture? And he's like, yeah, you can. But then when my friend <laughs> he like, he like turned around, he was so shy. It's like, <laughs> these are the people holding up the peace. That's like, what I'm saying. Just push one of yeah, these yeah. guns. They had no guns, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Security guards, they weren't the cops. What do you think of the homeless thing over there? Did I heard about it, but I didn't see it. Yeah, we saw What is it? Well, they the basically the homeless. Like we stayed at the, oh, I think it was Hyde or Hilton, one of those, mm -hmm. and um, and we we're sort of main main square, and sort of like it was like a main square, and you sort of have to come down and by about, I think it was about maybe eight o'clock, all the homeless would come out, mm -hmm. and the next morning we'd go out and have a coffee somewhere, like just grab a fucking I don't know, latte or whatever, and you go into the square and you go grab it, they all disappear. Like working shifts. Yeah. <laughs> so they're not going to get paid. Oh, it's been a long day in the park. <laughs> but yeah, they'd sort of pop up during the night, sleep there, and by the morning, it was all clear out. You would not see a soul. Mm. You know, and all their shit would be put, like, behind trees mm. and out of the way. It would all be clean. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Man, exactly. so I, I had the, um, the opposite experience, so... I went to America and my wife's like, we're pretty lucky she can work anywhere. So we were thinking maybe we'll move to America. So we, we went oh. to like five different cities and uh, San Francisco was a big one. We thought this is where we want to live. We've seen all the movies, cool people, tech, whatever. And we got to San Francisco and I'm walking down the street and the homeless people, mate. So you're outside Firefox, which is like a billion dollar company. And out the front, you've got somebody who's clearly mentally disturbed, rolling around in agony on the floor and people are just stepping over them. Honestly, mate, like I went there and I was like, for about, for about three days, I couldn't stop thinking about these, like just this monstrosity of these homeless Fuck. people. And you're just like, just fucking help them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just do something. And you, I, was, I was like, he put me off America. And then I went to Boston and got smashed and we're like, I definitely be here. 
there's zero homeless people and shitless Irish people. I got worried when you said San Francisco. I thought I thought he was going to say fuck it. I hate all gay people. What the fuck? The bloody gays. We haven't gone to gays yet. You on it? Oh, we have. We have. Your sister. We did. We did. We touched on that. And you hated her as well. She's not really gay. Well, she's not. She dabbled. She had a phase. Can you dabble in gay? Depends how deep you want to go. I don't know. Just, just the tip. Just the tip. Everyone dabbles. Yeah. Yeah. Elaborate. We've all seen David Beckham. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> We've all had a fight. If a gun yeah. to your head. Yeah, bend it like Beckham. Yeah, you reckon right. he's gay? No, but if I was, I would. You know what I mean? That's the if you, if. Oh, you, so you say you bang Beckham? If if. If you so choose. Not to. even if I had to, just for a story. <laughs> You know what? I've never done it before. If I'm gonna do it, may as well aim for the top. Yeah. Aim for the top, and I'm sure he, he wouldn't turn me away. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? Okay, so alternate universe. Yeah. We're all gay. Yeah. What do you mean alternate? <laughs> not not why are our pants still on? But who 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 would your what is it celebrity out or whoever to have a crack at if you were gay? Celebrity. Oh, and it doesn't have to be celebrity. If you say Jordi, I mean... I was going to look at him straight in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it takes more than that to rattle me, big boy. Um, <laughs> fuck, who would it be? I don't know. Anyone can jump in, anybody. Gay, gay bloke. Oh no, they don't have to be gay. They're this not gay. Like, no, I just... Turn gay. What, what, what guy would you have a crack at if you were gay? And let's just say, for argument's sake, they're gay as well, so there's no Me Too movement on this one. What, a Geordie? A Geordie? No, a Geordie, what, what would you be? Um, I had this with my brother recently, and uh, he went for very masculine dudes, and I went for very feminine dudes. Yeah, I was thinking Which about told that. me which spoon we would be. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. He was like, <laughs> fucking <laughs> Thor. <laughs> I definitely do Thor. Like, I was talking about brother, so he was like, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of who's the most girl. Oh, oh, easy. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. He's basically He's a, a chick. lovely fella as well, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, with, all, with, enough, with enough, nah, like, he, with he, enough bandanas. Yeah, but he, 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 he turned and started slapping you around. What he's <laughs> no, she slapped him around. Oh, was it? Fucking hell. So he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when Australia was going to shoot his dogs? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Were they yeah. really going to shoot his dogs? That's what it said. Jordy backed him up. He, he wrote a letter. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I don't have against dogs. I've slept with a few. <sighs> no. Um, what was it called? Pistol and fucking... Pistol and boo. Yeah. That's it. I'll probably go with Tom Hardy, I reckon. See, he's, he's, he's a little spoon brother. again. He's a little spoon again. We've got <laughs> yeah. two big spoons and a little spoon. Yeah, yeah but why? Because he's your sort of size and you're both rough. And well, no, because he's got a you good... both hate people. He's got nice lips. Oh, he hates though. people. He's lovely lips. Yeah, no. He, um... <laughs> I know you are this in which character? In your so which, it out. which character? Which character would you, would you let him fuck you in? Is in would it be the? Oh, so now he's getting fucked. Okay. Bronson. Oh, no. Bronson. <laughs> I, 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 would, I would do the fucking because I'd buy him dinner. No, it would be either Venom or Bane. Jesus. Bane's serious shit, man. Yeah, man. Bane, I haven't seen Venom, but Bane Venom's is... Venom's awesome. Jody didn't want to hit any shoes we want to talk about. Have you seen uh, when, oh, in, in the movie? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, if therapists can't help me, you can't. That's fine. <laughs> He's a scary Nah, if you whipped out the Bane voice, that'd be pretty cool. When he's in that... Uh, but then you have to get fucked by I him. invented the Bane. Yeah, no, it'd be awesome. That, what's his name, the Batman guy? Like, yeah, that's it, yeah, with a mask. No, he's yeah. in Christian Bale. Oh, Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. I'd let him fuck me, but as the machinist... <laughs> 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 there wouldn't be a lot of penetration, and I could say, yeah, I don't know if he <laughs> really <laughs> fucked me. <laughs> but, Is that the one where he got really small yeah, for yeah, it? Yeah, really <laughs> <laughs> That'd be but like then, fucking but, Gavin Simple or something. Fuck that. <laughs> But then if you were gay, wouldn't you want to be fucked properly? But like some No, because uh, apparently yeah, you want all the other, aren't you? Alright, alright, alright. I'll get right. fucked by the rock then. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. Mm. He, 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 he'd so buy his dinner, then he could get on his eating regime and shit. Because yeah. he'd bang you and then put his hand over, you right? <laughs> okay, alright, alright, alright. Um, go back a few years. Fuck you with the people's dick. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to do it properly... <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine what's that noise he used to do as well if you smell and then he'd go, go cock 
He grabbed his cock out and he'd slap it like Can you smell what the cock is cooking? And then when, yeah. he, when he comes, he does the people's eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh. All right, would you go big rock or little rock? Like big fucking buff, fast and furious yeah, If, if, I'm gonna get fucked if you're doing everything, rock, you're doing everything. It'll be, it'll be 1999 rock from WWE. In those shorts? Little sure, pants? Yeah. yeah, but he wasn't that buffed in... Yeah, I don't want to be. Yeah, he's not going to get bruised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I was gay, I wouldn't want to be that kind of gay. <laughs> if you have to fuck me, don't destroy me. So you don't, you don't want a prison fuck. <laughs> uh, no. I, 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 I want more of a community <laughs> service fuck. <laughs> I'd rather. Like, <laughs> you meant that same thing properly, then you're yeah. really good. I, I, I would much rather talk with the list than walk with the list, so it'd be alright. Oh but my god, Mike Tyson. Coming back? You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming yeah, back. fuck it. I'm a big Mate, if he big fights fan. with the uh, big English fella, that'll be fucking, that'll be <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. He just got 30 million for being up all. Did, did he? Yeah. <laughs> for what, against the English guy? didn't say he's fighting yet. No. Why would you get in the ring with Mike Tyson with gloves? <laughs> mate, he's still fast. He was lightning, man. One he of the best books of shit, I've mean. ever read. Yes! Mike Tyson. When he's on about feet. pigeons and stuff, when he's yeah. on the roof. It's mate. called My Story or something. So, Mike Tyson story. aside from the. Uh, That's my story. Amazing. Yeah. He, uh, he, uh, so, he's, he's a dude, right? And he's, he's his kid and he hasn't got much money. Mm. Yeah. And he's got nobody to look up to, really. And he, he, a lot of council estates or projects. So council estates in England, race projects, pigeons. Yeah. Projects in America, race pigeons. It's a weird thing that it's a real like, hobby that's cheap. Is that because they don't text message? Uh, yeah. So yeah, it, yeah. no, but so you can. It's just something you do as a kid, and it's yeah. fun. And uh, anyway, so he does that, and he has no self awareness. So he's like he's a kid or whatever, and he uh, he goes into this club. People like him, and he doesn't know why they like him because he's got no self confidence. And they invite him to this club, and he comes in and all pigeon shit and stuff. And uh, like they start taking piss out of him, and he like talks about his first time he was self-aware. Yeah. And then I think this kid on the street or something then says something about it, like having pigeons. Oh, he kills one of kills his pigeons. Pigeon, yeah. So he just smacks his lad in the face like a big kid, three, four years older than him. And he's like, and then I realised that I could hit people, mm. and they fall down. <laughs> and yeah, it's a fucking brilliant read. Like it really is. Really I, I, I don't read. read. But there was a cool. documentary as well about him, and it was just him speaking. It's kind of like the book. And, uh, like some, someone ghost wrote that book it's this guy called Rat so that's his nickname He, I think he wrote the Anthony Kiedis uh, oh, biography as well oh, no. but you need a you need a professional to write your book because you know not everyone's a writer I read that's the right. George St. Pierre book and he wrote it himself and mm. he shouldn't have mm. like it's just I'm, you know, I'm sure he's amazing and he would he would speak really well and mm. tell you a story but writing a book is a whole other thing you yeah. need a professional you need them to interview you for like two weeks straight yeah. and then and then craft a narrative from that especially if you're not even a storyteller so if yeah. you're not a storyteller and you're just writing like you're doing your yeah, writing's homework, not easy writing's man. there's fucking... all these celebrities coming out with books that they wrote themselves and you read it you're like yeah that's why we have writers <laughs> mm. <laughs> hire someone you're so yeah. rich you got someone to wear your shoes for you get them to write the book yeah just yeah. Man. oh wait no i got it george michael that straight out of when <laughs> he was a handsome guy yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so he's, 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 he's your top three <laughs> but no, we also no need I'm to scrapping everything for George Michael. Who's your bottom three? Who's the three that you wouldn't? Can any also, any man, also, you could rate them off any man, George. Can we also, really have to think about can, also, <laughs> wait, can we also clarify with these dudes? Are you the top or the bottom? No, no, it's your choice. Nah, it's, flip uh, a coin. Do it old school. Flip a coin. <laughs> it's your discretion. Is that how they do it? How are you feeling? That's always how I thought they did it. No, you, 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 you want on the other. Yeah, but is it intimate or the fuck? There's a difference. It's, it's all your own game. It's, uh, you've gone very deep into it now. You're is, asking is if you're taking this all... shit seriously. <laughs> is there this eye is contact? a real thing that's going to happen. <laughs> is there eye contact? Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean always eye contact. A romantic fuck. What, are you a thug? Like, always eye contact. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Unless it's a devil's three-way. You never make eye contact. What's a devil's three-way? All right, so I have a theory about the devil's three-way. So a devil's three-way is not a real three-way, as Patrice O'Neill would say. It's a tree. So, yeah. <laughs> so oh, so you a devil's three way is two guys and one girl. Yeah. Whereas a three way is a three way. I'm very proud to say I've never done devil's three way, but two guys, one girl. Never done that. I've only ever done two girls, but 
I have a theory. <laughs> he just wanted to get that in. These are all noodles. <laughs> 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 just no, 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 I'm exposing way too much myself. I um, need to write a book. No. Um, you need to get a ghost writer for your fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> See if rats are available. There would be way too much fat if I wrote a book. Uh, book. But, um... No, so Devil's Three Ways, the number one rule of Devil's Three Ways is you don't make eye contact with the other dude. And yeah. I have a theory. <laughs> that's fair. And I have a theory as how that came about. Like, you know those boy bands in the 90s and shit? Yeah. Like, uh... Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. What's, yeah, what's... No, they were all gay. No Keats on the Block. Yeah. E17. What's, Take that. No, Take I like Cord Red. Red. I Do you remember Cord Red? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, Cord Red. Red. Okay. Cord Red was... Okay, you know the LEG movie, movie, yeah? Oh, in early five. in the house. Was that a band? No, that was five, like just five. Five. Oh, that's just five. That's it. Slam dunk with a funk. That's that, the one. That was a great yeah, one. Yeah, five make it. you get down. In sync. It. That's it. Okay, so... Justin Timberlake would be a good one. What is that? Well, yeah, you can if you want. Um, <laughs> Thanks. <what we're, laughs> I'm glad I got your blessing. Okay, so... <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, you're three-way. Oh, okay. There you go, three-way. So, here's my theory where that came about. So, uh, what was the name of that band? Um... Band that does uh, Freak Me. You know that song from the LG movie? Wanna get, Wanna get freaky with you. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's Black Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> the the Fuck, hidden beast. No, another level. That's the name of the band. Okay, so another level. Mm. I reckon when the dude was singing the bit of like, uh, I want to taste the whipped cream, let me show you what. I mean, like that sort of <laughs> shit. Like, Can you imagine like four dudes in a studio? singing that shit like dude don't fucking look at me when you sing that that's where that came from oh okay that's where the but, devil's throw rule came from but did it come from two guys having sex with a girl <laughs> and then say mate don't look at my eyes Patrice oh, O'Neill did, did maybe, maybe Patrice O'Neill had a bit about that yeah about, it's brilliant yeah. about like two guys fucking and he's like just don't make eye contact and he's like what's this guy why are you looking at me he's like just fuck your half of the torso <laughs> He's like, this guy's making eye contact. This guy don't have train etiquette. <laughs> you don't want to get involved in a man train, but it's, uh, it's not something that they do. Well, it was up the bowling ball. You've done the bowling ball to a chick? I've done the Superman, yeah, fuck. You've never done that? I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. I've got, I got small hands, dude. I can do anything with these. Two in the, two in the right, pink, yeah, yeah, yeah. one, one in the, the stink. stink. No, nah, that's that. That's the shocker. It's first base. <laughs> <laughs> Depends where she's from. I don't know. Oh god. God, where do we go from there? I'm not making eye contact with you. That's all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's the freakiest thing you've ever done in the bedroom? <laughs> I'm recently married, so nothing. <laughs> I, I've only ever slept with my wife. <laughs> wink at the camera. John's out. <laughs> I, I can't even wink. It's... Oh no, we got a sound effect here. Have we? No. Nah. <laughs> Guy, come on, what have you done? Slept with my wife, missionary. <laughs> oh, come <laughs> on! Like, like my style. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you a story, fuck it. I've been married long enough. Yeah, you, you have, thank you for yeah, rescuing me. 20 odd years, I can get divorced now, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> no doubt. Fucking, uh, going back, yeah, a long time actually now, um, 20 odd years ago. Um, I was banging this bird. Exactly 20 years ago. Exactly. <laughs> just before I got married. <laughs> Fuck you. And I was banging her. Yeah. And you know when you're about to fucking drop a load? Yeah. And I've grabbed the fucking, I've grabbed my dick. Yeah. <laughs> and I've pulled out and I've gone, no, I'm not going to, you know, come in her. So I've grabbed my dick and I'm just holding onto the camel and I'm like fucking tweaking. And, <laughs> and she sort of moved off me and she's gone forward. I just let it go, mate. It shot across the room. <laughs> no word of a lie. I've never seen my cum move like that in its life. It just got woof, and it just got her in the hair. And the look I got was just get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I believe they call that a money shot. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a money shot. Yeah, yeah definite money. It was a shame that, that was wasn't weird. I was, uh, I was talking over there about the weird things you call stuff like the shocker <laughs> and the angry dragon. You know the angry dragon? Oh, yeah. oh my god, yes, I know that. Please, Gary, could you enlighten us what an angry dragon is? If I'm not wrong, <laughs> isn't that when you have your dick really deep in a girl's mouth and you come and it comes out of the nose? <laughs> is that the angry dragon? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> I've seen that in porn, I haven't yeah. done it myself. Mm. You ever heard of the gecko? 
What's the gecko? Oh, yeah. I got told. Also known as the Spider Man? No. Okay. No, Spider Man's where you fling it. No, Gecko is, um. <sighs> Sounds a bit rapey now that I'm thinking of it. <laughs> but you, you do it up against the wall. And your chick's a bit freaky, you might be able to get away with this. But then you go to slip it in her butt. And she climbs the wall. I heard that when I was like 12, it explains a lot. Gecko. None of the them are, are, are like being nice to the other person, these things are there. None of them's gonna sound. A friend of a friend of mine had this actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of a friend. <laughs> so this happened really is when a, you friend were there. a friend of mine. Um, so, boyfriend and her were fucking. And then. Oh, she actually did it to him, so he, he like came on her chest or whatever, and then she. she like grabbed the cum and then rubbed it on his forehead and then sang oh. sang the Simba song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Lion King song. Oh. That's a keeper dude. I'll marry that dude. Yeah. I've heard yeah. I've heard about that but with period blood. No, I wasn't uh, down for oh, that. Oh god, you killed me. Yeah, sorry. Jeez. Well, I haven't done it, I've just heard about it. Yeah, so what's the weirdest shit you've done? He's married obviously, we're not gonna get nothing out of him. Oh yeah, give it a couple of years and I'll tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> so to um, does it count if I didn't actually do anything? Yes. Okay. That makes it even more weird. Okay. <laughs> right, let me explain. Alright, so I think you've heard this story. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I tried it as a bit once and I think you were there. But so Oh, I, I know was, what you're I was, about. Yeah, I was chatting to this girl on Tinder, as you do, and we've been chatting for a few weeks, and mm. everything seemed good on paper, and my plans changed one night, and um, she goes, I'm having some drinks with a friend, she's bringing a date over, I feel weird being a third wheel, do you want to come over for a drink? I was like, yeah, alright, I've got some shit to do, and I'll come over later. So I get there about 10 o'clock. There's two chicks, and you? No, no, two girls and a guy. Okay. But I was chatting to one of the girls. We just... Never had a chance to meet up, kind of thing. So we've been chatting for a few weeks. And uh, I, I get to her place, it was like 45 minute hour drive, something like that. And uh, I picked up some cans on the way. And I get there, and I was like, okay, I can't find the house. Where is it? She goes, oh, it's the one with the Subaru at the front, the door's unlocked. I was like, alright, sweet. So I walk in there, door's unlocked, fair enough. Close the door, and there's no lights on. I thought, fuck, have I got the right house? And I walk in. And I turn the corner, I'm in the living room, and I see candles, there's bottles, there's dildos, there's fucking a nice rug, all this sort of shit. And all, all I can see is, is this ripped dude's body, and he's lying on the ground, and there's two of the biggest women I've ever seen. Like, one's riding him, one's riding his face. And the girl I was speaking to had blue hair, so she's riding his face, and, I, like, just time stood still. And they were like American fat, like I've never seen anything that big, right? Um, <laughs> and there we go, the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> That's not racist, they're white. Anyway, no, so. No. Not all of them, Jody, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking. She had blue hair. That was huge. She had yeah, blue okay. hair. You know, there's Mexican Americans as well, right? <laughs> Was she Mexican? No comment. No, she was. No, this is not the Mexican. Oh, no, okay, no yeah, that yeah. was a fun time. Anyway, so. Time stood still, it was like looking at an eclipse here, yeah? like I have no idea how long I was staring for. What, did you just get a shadow as you walked in there? <laughs> no, I fucking walked in. The moon and the sun. <laughs> yeah. I, walk, I walked in and I'm just looking at this unfolding, I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? What have I walked into? And, um, you know when you're drunk in like five minutes is actually an hour and vice versa kind of thing? Like, I have no idea how long I was standing there, I've got my cans in my hand. And, so you weren't uh, drunk? No, no, I just, I just got out of the car, and, right. but you know, she told me to bring drinks over, and um, did the adult thing, asked her, can I bring anything, blah, 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 so in the hour that it took me to get there, they've gotten freaky, and um, so I'm standing there, I have no idea how long I was staring for, and then, what seems like five minutes, but felt like an hour, she turns around, sees me, and goes, oh, Jordy, you're here, come here, I was like, no. So I turned around and walked out, and as my hand hit the doorknob, uh, I've looked in the hallway to my right, and there's three kids standing there. Oh, and by kids, I mean like two-ish, six-ish, eight-ish. Like maybe ten was the oldest. I don't know. Now I know why this bit didn't do very well. It turned, it's a <laughs> yeah, it turned, it turned dark. Yeah, it turned dark. It so, dark. Yeah, it didn't work. So I, I, I judge kids, as a, kids' ages by height. 
Like one of them was like up, so up to the height. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah got not length, not <laughs> or weight. Yeah. yeah, but now this is where it gets dark. It was up to my waist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a priest. They weren't Catholic anyway. So they're standing in the hallway, and my first thought was like, "Fuck!" Like I have a chance to save a kid's childhood. Like this obviously isn't a normal. Oh, they were just walking. Get in my car, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's like, saving uh, you. No. <laughs> Let me show you an alternate reality. No, so I was like, oh, come on, kids, very careful not to touch them. But like, I've ushered them up the hallway, right? Yeah. And there's all these names on doors and shit as I'm going up the hallway. First one was like Jeremy or something, and the, sec the second one was like Titan, and the other one was like Maximus or something like that. I'm like, oh, fuck, these are kids' names. Who were Jeremy? Yeah, yeah right. come on, Robbie and the last <laughs> did they? Fucking Maximus. <laughs> Titan, <laughs> Jeremy. No shit, one of them was called fucking Titan. I swear to fuck, one of them was Titan. And um, so I'm like, all right, who's Titan? Oh, and so you're in the room. And then I got back to the front door. And I was like, okay, if these kids are anything like me and my sister were, the shit one, when we were kids, they'll be up in five minutes. Mm. Like the TV's on, I want to watch the TV sort of thing. So I sat at the front door and I thought, if anyone comes from that way, I'm going to be filing a police report. If anyone comes from that way, I'll have to file, file like a child services report. So I said, I said to myself, like, I'll have one can. <laughs> no, 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 hear me out. So <laughs> You can't hear somebody's house. You're sitting there watching them fuck. But they get no, the I wasn't bed. watching them fuck. Let me have a review first. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You no. put their kids to bed. You <laughs> can't back <laughs> downstairs. I'm just great. <laughs> Like no, I'm in the hallway. No, 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 I'm in the hallway because I knew the kids would get up straight away, right? And I couldn't have that on my conscience, right? So I couldn't see anything around the corner, so I wasn't seeing the fucking blubber orgy that was going on. And the kids were in bed, so I'm just sitting there with my back to the front door. I thought I'll have one can just to make sure the situation's done. Kosher? <laughs> yeah, can yeah, can. yeah, caught kosher, yeah. There was nothing kosher about it. And, um,. The Jews eat whales. All right, keep going. They no, no so, Jews now. Keep going. All right, so <laughs> it was disgusting. Anyway, so um, nearly called Peter. Actually, it was disgusting. But anyway, so I don't know if the guy was still breathing. Like I have no idea if he could breathe under that. Like that would that. Be and it was a homicide. Yeah. Fuck me, <laughs> dead. Could have been. <laughs> You've grabbed some cans, you've driven an hour and a half, you've walked in, saw a fucking smurf fucking, you've looked around, you've seen some kids, she you've put no them to bed, you've come back down the stairs, there was no smurf. Someone's dead. Stood, just stood at the fucking door. Had a beer. And, no, and watched a guy die. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't go back to, for a second look at the eclipse, alright? I, I, I've got my back to the door, I'll, I'll finish a can if no one comes out, I'm going home, right? So I finished the can. Got in my car, got Hungry Jacks on the way home, cried in the car park, and deleted Tinder. But did you? Are you back on Tinder? Oh, no, not now. What was no, it, What was the lead ago. up to Tinder? Was she? Did she drop any of this on you? Did oh, you see any photos on Tinder? That's what I yeah, wanted. Yeah, yeah, there were photos, but they were clearly from years ago. Overhead. They were all of the Look, face. now I know. I tell you what, what you want about fat women, they've all got beautiful faces and nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> they know how to play the game. They know how to play the game. Very, very good with angles. That's where yeah. Pythagoras theorem comes into it. But no, like it was just. Yeah, it, 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 it was no Pythagoras. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that shit at maths that I get that joke. Yeah, no. But, um, yeah, it was bad. Jesus, it was bad. What sort of town was it? Must have been this sort of town. <laughs> Dandenong. Oh, God. The Dandenong's rough, apparently, but I only know oh, the yeah, Dandenong Rangers, which is a beautiful, it looks like Jurassic Park. Nah, but... <laughs> there were some monsters there, yeah, yeah, I can tell you, but no, at the foot of the hills, that's where it's rough. Yeah. Jesus. Is it, though? Like, yeah, what do you mean, rough? I've never been stabby. anywhere rough enough. It's a bit stabby. Mm. It's very stabby. Yeah, but we've all been stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Not like, with a knife. Like Beckham. <laughs> Tom Hardy. I think George uh, Michael. I yeah. think it's such a lovely place. Down in all. Australia. Like, this there's a bit of gun awesome. crime, bit of stabbing. But who doesn't? Mean? Who doesn't? A bit of crime, a bit of stabbing. We're all friends here. <laughs> I think it's just lovely. Just don't I get on the hate list. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm on about. I'm looking at buying a house, and 
and I walk at Foot Square, which has been a notorious shit hole for a long time, and I'm like, mate, you have not been to England. This is fucking living the dream. I can see the city. There's a park there. Like, what the fuck? Don't go in the park. And I can get a four foot. bedroom for like fucking 700,000. What the fuck? Yeah, that'd be alright. Australia, what a country. If you haven't been here, don't come, you'll shit the place up. Stay away, you scumbags. <laughs> Just don't go to this one house in Dandenong where there's a Subaru at the front. You don't know what you'll see. But, but yeah, that, uh, that was fucking But what weird. was the lead up chat? Was it not, no indication that this would happen? No. Absolutely nothing. She took a risk there, didn't she? <laughs> I suppose she has to. Given a condition. <laughs> <laughs> she, she can't. She can't give oh, you an eye in. It was weird. I'm sat on the guy's head in the front room, with no clothes on. And my oh no, I wasn't in the front room, it was like... Let me explain. So like, as soon as you walk in, there was a hallway on your left, and then you saw like partial living room, and then you walk around and like the living room's behind the door. I think I've been in this place. Has <laughs> 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 been in the guy. <laughs> I'm still alive, bro, I'm still here. <laughs> no, see, that's the thing. No, okay, it was so 20 years ago, so we just <laughs> shot at you. <laughs> Dude, not 30, I wasn't smacking you. <laughs> oh, Geordie says, oh shit, come someone my way. <laughs> I wasn't fucking at 10, this wasn't 20 years ago. No, it, okay, so the first thing that shot, like struck me as bad until I noticed the women was, like, they were both as big as each other, like, it was a competition. If you were pissed, would have you gone there? No. So no, you got to so you don't like fat chicks. Just call it the way it is, bro. You don't like fat chicks. I like curvy women. Uh, I don't like. It. But morbidly obese does nothing for me. I'm, I'm like. too petite myself. <laughs> See, mate, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. You know what I mean? It's I can't. I can't. It's like it's emasculating. Yeah. I I I, I, I like curves. Upwards, like I don't. Like but even curves, I, I've got no waist. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see the big asses. I can see why they're attractive. But when when you're there, you're like, Jesus, this is too me. Like it just doesn't. No, I I love I love love good curves. Like you can check this one girl, mate. Like beautiful. Is she Mexican? No. <laughs> no, she's from Brisbane. I don't know what you call it. A Brisbane Mexican. line or something. I don't fucking know. She's not. No, she's not Mexican. Um, I hope she's not listening. But, what's um, she called don't fucking she's listening to this <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop you right there <laughs> yeah she'll probably listen to this um, no, no comment but um no like I, I, I don't find morbidly obese attractive like mm. like in women you're into what you're into aren't you you know what I mean and no one can judge exactly. you for it like, if I'm, I'm not into it don't hold it against me if you're so, into so it so Johnny you're like a chick that can fit between your two thumbs like this a little waist yeah. Okay. Not, not not that little. That seems child esque. Uh, <laughs> <but, yeah. laughs> no, but I, I mean, I just... <laughs> he's not that casual. I'm not not uh, that not that bad. But uh, <laughs> you just didn't know what you're into, man. And mm -hmm. if if you have a go at me for what I'm into, it's the same for you. Like you just didn't know yeah. what you're into. No, like I look, I got in trouble with this when I was dating a feminist. Like we were. Um... You're into what you're into. We don't judge you. No, I wasn't into that. No, How but... the fuck do you go from a blue haired fucking smurf to a feminist? He's not into it. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. No, 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 I'll explain. So. so can I just ask you one thing? Yes. Tinder must have, like, what do they call those things? You're into computers, the, you know, the way you. An algorithm. <laughs> yeah, no, no, the way you actually turn around and go, uh, refining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Refining. Filter. Filter not thing. really, no. Don't you fucking filter and go, no fat chicks, no no, no, hair, no, 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 no Mexicans. No, no, no. Okay, there might be now, but when I was on it, like a year and a bit ago. <laughs> no, no, that's no. Trump's Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Must not be able Build to find a wall. Yeah. Build a if wall. If she's come Tinder. over a wall, I do not want her. <laughs> <laughs> this Tinder has a Mexican firewall. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, like on Tinder, from... From when I was on it, like a year and a half ago plus, it was age and location. That's it. And male and female. That sounds like Grinder, bro. I don't know. <laughs> what, no, what, 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 a different you, what was your top age? 70? 50. No doubt. No. And what's the oldest? Well, when I was. It, it, it's not true, but when I was 20, <laughs> 20, 22, I was a uh, 45 year old. 
That's all right. That's yeah. all right. That's, that was Gary. top bananas when I was that age. <laughs> I was like, hey, you got my mum's age. It wasn't a teacher, was it? Right. Yeah. You know, no, it wasn't. It was a, a Vietnamese lady, actually. No doubt. From Melbourne. Fair enough. Was that a brothel? No, no, no. <laughs> she was. <laughs> well, they're very young looking, so she probably looked about 18. Yeah. They yeah. look young. She fit between the... <laughs> she fit the measurements. No ways. <laughs> the two-handed stuff. <laughs> When I was 16, I slept with a 35 year old. Yes. When you were 16? Yeah. Man, that's when was your first man, fight? Man, you guys. How old were you? Pretty, old pretty old sure I was 16, but she was 16. Like, there wasn't 16. Well. Yeah, no, I've done that. Jeez, I was a late bloomer then. Oh, no, I, 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 I got laid when I was 15. <clears throat> High school girl. God, I was really a late bloomer, 18. <laughs> <laughs> mate, mate, that's for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. No, okay, so, oh, okay, he, he, let me explain. So, uh, here's how I can go from that to that to that. So, I was dating this girl and turned out to be an absolute feminazi, which I didn't bode well with. And from Tinder? Yeah, we met on Tinder, and we were together for like a year and a half. And, you know, you're into what you're into, but some people take shit too far, and it's detrimental to your cause. She was one of those people. And um, it was Christmas time, and we were out doing our Christmas shopping and stuff, and she goes, oh, I need to find blah, blah, blah shop. I was like, I'm in Chadson, I don't know the new Chadson, what the fuck does the shop look like? She goes, oh, it's a purple outlet thing. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm looking over the, like, the people that are in front of us in Chadson, it's fucking packed. Chadson two days shopping before Christmas. Yeah, two days before Christmas, the place is packed. And um, I'm like looking up and I just hear this, oh, you getting a good look? I was like, I can't find the fucking shop. She goes, no, you getting a good look at her? I was like, what, who? She knew I had a thing for Shakira, right? And... Um, there's a girl like a hundred metres. <laughs> Let's slow down there. <laughs> Hang on. Shakira wasn't there. Thank Colombian. Fun. Colombian Shakira. Yeah. Mexican. Uh, no, she's Colombian. She's a Jordi, but she's <laughs> <all there. laughs> I don't know. I'm colour blind. So she's oh, like... Fuck. Are you calling people coloured now, Jordi? <laughs> <laughs> mental, mate. That is mental. So... <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is going to go to where. Right, right, so... Go, so yeah. There's this girl like a hundred meters in front of us and she's got like the the long curly hair and wearing like kind of like Benny's pants like to her waist and all this sort of shit. Okay. Yeah, you're doing something for me, buddy. And, um, <laughs> and she goes, oh, you're getting a good look? And I was like, what are you talking about? She goes, that girl there, she looks like Shakira. I was like, oh, does she? And then she goes, oh, is that what you're into, is it? And I was like, what are you talking about? She goes, is that the kind of woman you're into? I was like, I find women attractive. Simple as that. And that was like a massive no-no. So if I'm into someone, I'm into someone. It's like... Yeah, but you wouldn't say it to your missus if you're into somebody. No, but I made the mistake of saying I'm just into women. Yeah, you don't say it's shit like that. In hindsight, yeah, but... Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I call it as I see it. I've been no, an escrow so thrown like, at me, ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, I, lo I love curves and I love like a fancy hairdo, like a mohawk or a fucking coloured hair or something like that. That shit's... Shout out to mohawks. And chicks, piercings. If there's any chicks out there with mohawks. And piercings. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it now. Tattoos. Tattoos, fuck yeah. Tattoos, piercings. It sounds yeah. like you're into lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Bye chicks, yeah, sure. My, uh, my sister's a gay. She's a gay, and she's one of them gays. She's a gay. A, a <laughs> yeah, I like it because it's true, and it's that's like the only it. accent that can get away with saying, "Yeah, she's a gay." Yeah. She's she's into motorcycles and haircuts and <laughs> good for her. <laughs> she's I into say. haircuts. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, the fam what the family think of it when she came out? No one gives. No one oh, cared. cared. Yeah. It was very obvious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no shit. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yeah, so. No one gave a shit. No one gave a shit. Uh, right. nah, I, 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 it's British people don't give a fuck about gays. Like, if you're gay, like, it's like saying, uh, I'm into. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the Mexicans, it's like, no, nah, I don't give a fuck. Like, Maybe you know what I mean? Into a shade of colour, you guys just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we're. Look at that slightly tanned dude from Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. Did you go on holiday? Oh, okay, well, that's alright. Yeah. Yeah. Very accepted. Well, I laughed before when Gary. I laughed before when Gary said about the uh, what would you say Bunnings gay? <laughs> the Bunnings membership. <laughs> yeah. Being, actually, I'll tell you a story about that. I was in Bunnings and I was buying something. Oh no, where's this going? No, no. I'll tell yeah. you a story. 
I was in Bunnings, I was buying something as I do, and I got in there and I needed a specific fucking screw, a specific fucking size. Mm. So I've turned around, I'm looking, can't find it. A chick comes up to me, um, a lady, comes up to me, she goes to me, um, hello sir, can I help you? No, but can you get a bloke that can? Oh. <laughs> that was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my fucking oh. life. I, le I learnt to respect women that day. <laughs> that anyway, was last week. Yeah. No, it actually wasn't. But it, what made me laugh was she's got, she just looked at me and she's gone, "Okay, I'll get you some. I'll get you. I'll get you a guy." And anyway, she goes out. Calls yeah, how are you married? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she hates shit. When I go, when I go, when I go, uh, fucking. When I, when I lose my shit about femos and gays and all that, I get put in my place, mate. I go to my fucking room. <laughs> I don't get out of the room for a couple of hours. I mean, I'm, what do they call it when they put the kids in that? Naughty corner. Naughty corner, that's it. <laughs> but anyway, she sends this guy over. G'day, mate. How you going? Yeah, good, mate. I'm looking for a fucking 2.5 fucking mill screw with the fucking hexagon fucking head on it. Yeah. He goes, oh, I can't help you with that, mate. Let me get somebody that can. <laughs> oh. oh, it was a long fucking aisle. Let's just put it this way. You just see her walking down, smiling, going, fuck you, fat boy. I'm going to tell you now. So I can help you now, can I, sir? Oh, no. I learned that day you just don't fucking, you don't, you don't, yeah, talk before you fucking think. <laughs> Which I haven't done tonight, but anyway. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, he's working at a tool shop <clears throat> and uh, you just get proper tradies coming in asking for recommendations. <laughs> just making <it> chill every <laughs> time. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like the weight of this one. I feel the red one is I a see, bit I've more I've got efficient. something for you and I just grab whatever the fuck I've got. I'm trying that. Give that a try, mate. Tell you what, you love that. <laughs> fucking hell. I've got something for you. It comes out with a two by four. I'm a fucking mechanic, bro. <laughs> the fuck am I going to do with this? Oh, that'd be a motivator for apprentices. That'd be about it. Fuck apprentices are lazy. Anyway. Yeah, I was looking at it. I actually was, I was going through my computer today. And I was looking oh at all the photos. And when I had the restaurant and I had a few apprentices. And the look in my face was like, I want to kill this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you see this photo? It's just me. Like, I just taken the photo in, in actual mo in motion. And I'm just like, fuck it. I fucking stab you, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this, this might be the most colourful podcast we've ever done. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> going back to the Mexican. <laughs> no, no going back to the Mexican. No, no. bueno. No. I learned, I learned a little bit of Mexican. I can't remember it. Spanish. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's true. It's Spanish. Gosh, no idea. Do you still talk to him? No. Oh, no. This is years ago. Yeah. Is it because she hasn't learned English yet? <laughs> She's probably gone back home, I don't know. I've got no idea. Um, she went back home to which Mexican country? <laughs> <laughs> Mexico. That's like, that's like, no, it's like one of my favourite Patrice um, O'Neill. America. <laughs> one of my favourite Patrice O'Neill bits, he's like, he's like, I'm going to say Chinese people, but I don't mean Chinese people. <laughs> yeah. I just mean countries that Chinese people come from. <laughs> Everyone got it immediately. Oh. <laughs> Love that. That was, such, that was such a smart line. He's a fucking genius, that guy. He is, man. And you can just quote his shit and everyone laughs. So yeah, fucking funny. Quote it out of context. That's the one I go back to, the elephant in the room. Elephant in the room. room I always so go back good. to that. And he did like crowd interaction and all that. Yeah, and, uh, the, the, the uh, radio show. So that's often like, oh, I listen yeah. to each show and he's, he's really... So I don't know if you know a story about him, but he, he when he was 16, he got mm. accused wrongfully of rape because he, mm. he, what, you said he did a devil's circle or whatever you said. Freeway. And yes. uh, on, a, on a girl with his mate. And anyway, so they, they had a fun time. And then next week, he tells this guy, the 16 they don't know any better they tell yeah. her mate so the mate at school goes up to her goes to her school and says you're gonna so my bitch or oh, I'm gonna tell everybody that what Patrice and the old mate did to you last week so she screams goes and tells her big brother then the big brother gets all into trouble and he says oh no they raped me so they went yeah. to court or whatever and even the judge is like it's very apparent they didn't rape you but there'd been some black people raping somebody recently and he was a lot of 
stir up about it. So they said, you're going to go to jail for six weeks. So he went to jail for rape. And then he, oh. in everything he says, he, re, he has a real hatred for women. Yeah. And you can see that's where it stems yeah. from. Like, oh, he's, he's, he's really vocal about it. And, um, but it's just genius the way he does it. You can say the worst thing that you don't agree with him on any level, but you agree with him. Like, he's just yeah. fucking genius comic. <coughs> yeah, Bill Burr's got that as well. Like, I remember watching Paper Tiger. And he, he, I thought he shit Paper Tiger. Really? I thought he just backtracked on everything he said for the last 20 years. You reckon? I thought he's been, like, really outspoken and say what you want, and now he's like, yeah, but, you know... Yeah, he did, he did, he did. Let's all get along. Oh, I fucking loved it. I think he was shit, but I think he wasn't what I was expecting. Compared to the other specials? Mm. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, he went a lot harder in the other ones. I mean, no one was... Like you say, he took it back. But I think I think he's also mellowed out by then. He's got his kid. Yeah. He's not yeah. He's not as... He's not direct. It's hurt-filled. Yeah, he's, he's basically just... Yeah, he's, he's doing it for a wage, if you know what I mean. Like it's, yeah, it's, not, it's not comedy from within... But imagine banging out an hour a year. You know what I mean? What yeah. are you talking about at this point? What's the thing? Like, I, I, I think Bill Burr does like a, like a special every two, three years or something. But like, uh, who is he? Uh, Will Anderson. Apparently, Will Anderson. You know, radio, mm-hmm. uh, radio comic and all that sort of shit. He, um, he's big on SBS and ABC or some shit. He, he does an hour a year. Imagine that for well, every year. Right. Every year he comes out with a new hour. Yet, yeah, but he, don't forget he's also got a he's got a massive following in England too. <coughs> in England, they have writers as well. Yeah. So you have yeah. a special and you have writers and you have young comics that write your bits. Yeah. Yeah, but I couldn't name one joke of his. I couldn't relay one joke. I don't know who he is. I just know the name. Yeah, it, it was it was on uh, Triple M's Hot Breakfast for a bit, but yeah. like he he's, he's been on TV league. here for fucking ages. He Oh, I know no, what you no, mean. No, 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 that's Adam Hills. Adam oh, Hills, yeah, 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 different one. Oh, there was Adam. Oh, Adam, Adam Hills is funny, but no, Will Oh, Ad- Will Anderson. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's got fucking cerebral palsy or something, hasn't he? I'm not sure. I don't think, he's, <laughs> not, he's not funny. I don't like no, him. No, he's not funny. I would have liked like him, him, but the cerebral palsy <laughs> really <laughs> pissed me off. You're milking it, you prick. <laughs> oh, no, he, he, was, he was... He's really con- 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 here, right? He's very, um... Uh, what's oh, the word? He's really con- has he got Parkinson's? He's got, like yeah, that. he's got Parkinson's. Yeah, no, he's got Parkinson's. No, but he, he, he was very... Um, very political. Political, but angry. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you. He's, he's, been a, he's been a big like big comic in the scene for like 20-odd like like years, right? Is that a condom? No, oh, I'm okay. opening the big toss. But it was like a fucking condom in the video. <laughs> but it was on the mic. <laughs> and I didn't want everybody to hear me opening my singular packet Mentos. Yeah, so no. stop killing the dolphins with your packaging, you prick. <laughs> no, but like, for, 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 for someone who's been doing like comedy for 20 years and done that many specials or whatever, whether they've filmed or whatever, I couldn't quote one fucking line of his. Yeah, but he's not funny. Well, no, he's not funny. But like, I, I thought I would have, like, yeah, but you're not going to watch somebody that you're not going to relate to or you're going to find funny. I don't think anyway. I don't, I'm not going to watch somebody that... It's like Tom Segura. Mm. I've never watched his stuff. Oh, Boar Hog's amazing. And then the other night, oh, I found this thing where he did... Is that the shirt off guy? Or the no, 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 it's no, the other guy. The other guy. Yeah, and I actually watched him the other night, but he did some sort of special. Um, he did it in Singapore. He went. He did Asia. Mm. And it was phenomenal to see how he operated. Like, yep. he was very... Uh, he was a cunt. Yeah. Like, so I was a girl. Oh, he, yeah, he, he is. Like a cunt, He's but as he, a smart cunt. As yeah. he plays the yeah. plays the other comics. Like, he actually got up there and did their bits yeah. before really? they got up there just to put them off. Because these guys were all about, like, oh, you know, you got to have your bit right and all this sort of shit. And yeah. he just went up there and went, I'll do his part of his bit and I'll do the side of his bit. And they go fuck themselves. And then he went into his bit. And the way he did it and fucked with their minds... Is it a documentary? No, no, it was actual... I um, can't remember what, what I watched it on. I think I watched it on Hell. Uh, yeah, I think it was Hell. H-U... H-U. Hulu. Hulu. Yeah, Hulu. Hulu. Yeah. I watched it on that. Hulu. Yeah. It's like American stuff. Yeah. Mm. And I watched it on that. It was actually... It was, I've never seen any of his shit. I've seen him on, like, his podcasts and all yeah, that sort yeah. of shit. But I've never actually seen him do his stand up and I, oh, I fucking loved it, it was just he's got the, a special called Mostly Stories that yeah, one's good I've seen that one he's, what, he's phenomenal for me I liked him watch uh, Ball Hog 
His new one. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Fucking good. That was so fucked really up. Good. I was watching a bit of it with my mom. I mean, like, she was... <laughs> and then he goes on this bit where he's like, everyone's mom has been a ball hog at some yeah. point. And he's talking about, like, mom sucking on balls. And my mom's nearby. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. And yeah. I kind of just turned it off immediately because then it'll arouse her attention. I know she's, yeah. like, half listening. There's a kind of distract. Oh, oh oops, yeah. pressed the wrong button. Like, yeah, you don't want to start around family. That's, that, that's, like, that's like changing the channel when there's a nude scene coming up. Oh, that. awkward as a kid. I reckon that'd be awkward now, but as a child, that's particularly awkward. Yeah. When you're thinking, Jesus, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> what is this feeling? Yeah. Did I remember the first upskirt I ever saw? Oh, well, sorry, no, I was in kindergarten. Bad. I was in kindergarten, and it was this Indian teacher I remember, and she was like showing us how to do the leapfrog for some reason, and I still remember <laughs> her saying, Sorry, she's like, oh, just excuse me, I'm wearing a short skirt. And she proceeds to do it. And I remember looking at it. I was like five. But I was like, I like that. Mm. I don't know why. <laughs> I, that's burned into my mind. Well, it, it, I said, at this age. They're like uh, awake, awake. I came online sexually at that moment. <laughs> With everything you hasn't clocked off ever since. No, I still you, think about it. You're aware <laughs> of everything sexually now. So you can watch porn every hour a day. So you see yeah. everything. You've seen everything. You've done everything. Yeah, don't at this age now, anymore, yeah. the most sexual things you can see is skirt blown up by wind that is number one <laughs> not number two number one is nipple through shirt that they're the two <laughs> most sexual yeah, yeah, things yeah. you can yeah. see as the an one you're not man. supposed to see yeah, exactly and you're like holy shit it's there it's happening she doesn't know her nipples out oh my god i've got to tell my friend <laughs> i told my friend there was a girl uh, i was having dinner i was out eating a meal and nipples out the entire time i told my wife when we left the restaurant <laughs> honestly, I was like, the entire time and i said that i was just like i was like she was fucking freaking me out and she my wife was like yeah no nah, i would have looked to it i'd have seen it like you just can't talk <laughs> away can you in the entire time. Save that one for later. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ. I remember the first time I saw boobs on TV. I think I've told this story before. But, um, so, my uncle was back home uh, in Melbourne and I was, I was staying at my grandparents for the holidays. I would have been 10 or 12 or something like that. Watching Mexican cable. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new slang. <laughs> Otherwise known as SBS. S SBS on, oh, on a Friday night Fuck at 11 o'clock. That was the shit. Anyway, so... <laughs> my uncle goes to the video shop and gets some movies, right? My grandparents don't really know what we're watching sort of thing. And um, my, uncle, my uncle was the biggest smartass, right? Fucking love him. Miss him dearly, but he was the biggest smartass. And he goes, um, Oh, I found a futuristic documentary of what the world's going to be like in, you know... 20 years and my grandfather being a, you know like a head of Melbourne Uni is like oh, yeah, oh that's education yeah. little, little Jordan will like this but all that <laughs> little Jordan I was 10 uh, is I was your name actually Jordan yeah well, I'm Fuck. never calling you Jordan no. again no no, after, no, after no, this no, no I hate Jordan. Jordan. Jordan I hate Jordan I no, no I hate idea. Jordan you can call me magic <laughs> <laughs> so oh, damn yeah. Jordan. So my uncle was like, "Oh yeah, I found this documentary of like, you know, what, what the world might be like in you know twenty years, kind of thing." Blah, blah, blah. And um, he puts on the Starship Troopers. <laughs> 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 so there's aliens fucking like chewing <laughs> people up and shit. And then um, and then it gets to the shower scene, like the shower scene. <laughs> and my granny's like, "Oh, I don't know about this." And my uncle's <laughs> just like, "No, no, 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 no. It's it, it's very in depth." <laughs> They end up fucking off. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. But yeah, that was um, that was eye opening as a ten year old, ten or twelve, something like that. That was on VHS. That was brilliant. Well, watch any 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 Yugoslav or yeah former Yugoslavia. Watch any of their old films. Mm -hmm. Within, I'm um, I'm not going to say probably two words of dialect. Everybody's naked. <laughs> <laughs> so as a kid, we grew up with like you're watching it, and then your old man, my old man would be my old man hated that sort of shit. Like as in he was very, you know, there's no need for the whole family to watch naked people. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, who read this? <laughs> I did. Fucking shit. That, that'd be him talking to himself. <laughs> this is about the homeland and stuff, but no, naked people. <laughs> It was every fucking movie from there, and still to this day, I still laugh. It was, you know, you, I might go, oh, I'll watch a walk film tonight, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, 
Bog. And it's like, bum, 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 and they're all making so what the fuck? I don't know, where's the plot? Yeah. Where's the subplot? Where's where's the the plot? So it speaks for itself, Tiffy's. <laughs> SBS was the shit when you were a kid. Mm. That was Dude, SBS good. was the shit when I moved to this country, you know? Yeah. I was watching TV and it was just tits and like... But you'd have your magazines under your bed, hidden or in the cupboard or something, but then SBS would come on. You guys are so lucky to grow up with SBS. Yeah, we had Channel 5, Channel 5 was our big one. I had like magazines, like FHM was the closest thing we had to pull. Fuck. And then eventually like... before Mine was Target Catalog, but anyway. I mean, I had that as well. Uh, before there was DVDs, we had VCDs in Asia. Yeah, fuck yeah. And then uh, it was, and you know, porn is like super illegal in Singapore, so like some fucker will have to smuggle it in from Malaysia. What's it's legal in Singapore this stage? Nothing, man. Fun has just recently been legalized. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it, we had like VCDs, and then they're all like, they're all scratched up, and they're the worst, because the best VCDs stay in the person's house. Yeah. And shit, once go in circulation. <laughs> I remember the first one I watched, my friend let me, he had a bunch, right, and he's like, he let me one, he was like, oh, this one's good, it was called Hong Kong SM, <laughs> immediately already, you know, it's shit, it's like so bad quality, it's like, it's been like, dub, you know when you dub cassettes, it's been like dubbed like eight times, you can barely tell the tit from like, the, oh, the pillow, and uh, this guy is like, it's like, you know, consensual, light BDSM, but they don't have enough money, so he's like, rap, he's like wrapping her up, he has like a fucking iron and he's wrapping her up in the cords and like and he's fucking her and just like what the fuck is this i feel like i've drifted out of that story did that just go like he just wrapped her up in what happened he used it was like bdsm to tie up the girl or whatever but, but he's he, wrapping her up i mean he, he tying doing, her up he doesn't yeah like he's tying her up with a cord oh i thought you meant like winding her up in some sort of mango <laughs> i was like what the fuck Oh, he, he, tied, he, tied up. he didn't have anything else, so he took like the cord from an iron. Oh, that and shit comes in black and white. And it's just yeah. really shit. And then the second one, this was actually a good one, but it was just like gangbang. And it was, I still remember, it was one of the best titles ever. It was called Super Fuckers Presents Anal Sexplosion 9. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's good because there are eight sequels. Super Fuckers. Awesome, yeah. yeah, I'm a Super Fucker. Super Fuckers Presents. Can you imagine getting that on an ABN? <laughs> super fun <laughs> and it's just some like worn out woman you know in her 40s or something she's getting railed by uh, half a dozen Mexicans she's had it <laughs> oh, man. The, uh, with blue hair <laughs> I'm the uh, in my house it's a long essay two older girls and then me as a boy mm. so like I don't give a fuck like I'm, I've got sexual I don't, I don't give a fuck I don't know there's any boundaries I'm not bothered man I've, do, I've got porn under bed whatever find it or find it blah 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 so I went to Scotland to um, to visit my dad and I'm, I'm there for like two months and then um, I, I was smoking pot at the time and I also kept my pot under my bed and uh, my mum came like got on the phone she's like when you get back down here we're gonna have a serious chat about what we found under that bed and uh, you're in serious serious trouble and I'm like she's found my pot she's definitely found my pot and uh, I got back and she just pulled out an old dirty porn mag it's like, just relax, Janet. I'm 14, you know what I mean? What do you think I'm doing in the bedroom all the time? I'm there hours. I'm getting stoned, just watching porn and looking at porn. When did you guys start jerking off? I think it was, I think it, this is not going out, this one, is it? I, I always thought, the, uh, I think it was about 10. I didn't even think really? I knew what That's I was so doing. Good, I think it was like, I was like a monkey. Just going, oh. I was 13. Is that what that does? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd say. 10 or 11, I reckon. Fuck, that's damn early. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, about 12, I think. I have nothing yeah. else to do. I didn't even know what sex was until I was 13. I still remember when I was 12, one of my mm. friends uh, told me sex. He was like, I found out what it means. He's like, <laughs> Gary, <laughs> come round. This is awesome. <laughs> I mean, this is Singapore. We're super innocent, right? At least me and my friends were. And then he's like, the guy sticks his dick in the girl's vagina and he pees a little. <laughs> And I was just like, that's the stupidest fucking thing. No, that's not, how Germans just, have sex. No, but it wasn't the peeing thing that I thought was yeah. ridiculous. I was like, you, are you crazy? Like, one is a rod, one's a hole, and it goes. And like, <laughs> I was like, that's so obvious. Of course it wouldn't. That's so stupid. And then later on, um, more and more people verified. They're like, yeah, the dick actually goes. I was like, it goes in. Oh my God, that's insane. Because 
in my mind, you know, you watch like Friends or whatever, they start making out or any kind of movie, they make out. There's heavy petting, they remove mm. the bra, next day they're like, we had sex. I thought sex is fooling around. I didn't yeah, know something yeah. actually goes in something else. It blew my fucking mind. <laughs> and then the first time, like, we watched porn, like, we saw porn and my friend's uncle's dirty mags, and like, it was all these uh, erect dicks, right? Like, with foreskin, but erect. And then I'd never seen a dick head before, and none of us, like, none of us are circumcised. <laughs> like, shit like so, this, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> So all of us were like, why the fuck do these guys' dicks look like that? And then one of my friends was like, oh, that's probably a condom. They were like, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that makes sense. And then one day, sense. when I was at home, I was I pulled my foreskin all the way back. I was like, oh, my God, I'm wearing a condom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they didn't do sex ed at your school, then? They did sex ed when we were 14. And I remember for the first half of the lesson, the teacher just scolded us. Yeah. We were in an all-boys school. And this is Asian style. She's like... I'm going to teach you something today. I don't want to hear anything. If anyone says that you're going to get slapped, you're going to get sent out of the class, you're going to cane you, blah, blah, blah. It was just threats for half an hour. And it was super scientific. Urethra, ovum, blah, 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 blah. You could have been learning Sounds about so a you car. Listening. You could have been learning about a car. It's max. Yeah, yeah. And one part that was like, the penis enters the vagina, and then one person sniggered, out of the class, get out, get out. I don't want to see your face. And then sex ed was like, two lessons done, that's it. That's it. And yeah, then, we would be like that here. Back in yeah. back. Else was quick. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, I was like a nervous teacher. Wrote sex on the board, and he was Mr. Short, ca- charismatic guy. He was shaking Mr. like a Short. shitting dog, mate. Like, like, we, had <laughs> mixed, <laughs> we had mixed classes, and he wrote sex on the board, and we were all having a laugh. And that we're fourteen, mate. We've yeah. been smashing porn too. You know, what I mean? <laughs> where he can show us, Mr. Short, we're not shy. And he just he exactly that yeah. spoke about me- mechanical me- me- yeah, yeah, mechanical yeah. fucking. It was like. The first time we watched a hardcore porn was my friend's house in Magdalene, mm-hmm. so it was like Hustler, Penthouse. So I went from not even barely seeing tits to like Bukake and Cum Shot. Yeah, serious. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Like so then you think that's shit, what it hardcore is? Hardcore shit. And I remember I felt nauseous, like it was so intense. <laughs> I was really turned on as well. <laughs> like, hard as fuck. Because I liked it, like, you know, you like it, but it was so... You went from like, ooh, <laughs> kissing's hot to like, you know, there's five guys come in a ball. You know? And then all of us, I was like, this is what I've got to do. throw up. And you I didn't know how to jack off at the time. <laughs> and I just had all these cum and anger in me. And then I remember my friend Joshua, shout out to Joshua. He taught, he, he taught me how to jack off. Not personally. <laughs> Good old Joshua. Everyone was starting to jack off at about this. Did he give you a hand or? <laughs> I wish. Was it hands on it more? No, it was hands off. But um, <laughs> but he coached you through it. Every what do you want to do, Stroke. He pulled back to force, and you you'll see the condom. He was like, hey, give it here. I'll show you. Did he have a megaphone like a fucking? We say you do it, guys. I'm just like, imagining someone like on the end of a rowing boat. Oh. Stroke. <laughs> like, so everyone, that. everyone was jacking off except me. And I really wanted to know how to do it. But no one thought, like, Singaporeans just don't explain shit to anyone. And then I was like, then he was jacking off all the time. And everyone was like, oh, it's so awesome. Then I was like, you've got to teach me, like, how do you actually do it? <laughs> then he says, he was the one who finally taught me. Because everyone else was just like, oh, you yanked on your dick a bit. <laughs> and then I just yanked on my dick a bit and it just hurt. <laughs> like, yeah. nothing happened. And he was like, okay, you got to watch porn or, like, a sexy scene. And then you imagine you're the guy. And then your dick will, they call it steam in Singapore. He said, your cock will steam. Man, he you was grab your dick and then you, you yank it a bit or whatever. You start feeling good and just keep doing it. And then something will come out. First time I did it, I thought I was having a stroke. <laughs> I mean, I was in a way. And then, like, it happened, and I was like, oh my god, god bless nature. Like, I, I, can't, I didn't know that human beings were capable. Remember the first time yeah, you came? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, are, but do, you remember, do you remember the first time you premature ejaculated? Oh, yeah, I was eight. <laughs> yeah, I was just, well, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> it was a really nice dream, I remember. Oh, I, just feel, I just felt really relaxed, and I pissed a bit. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, I remember <laughs> I that. Remember. And I just thought it was a particularly nice piece. <laughs> <laughs> Ever been caught out by family jerking off? Thank God, no. Oh, man, I, I was in the era where there was one computer and it was downstairs. <laughs> you know yes. I mean? So that's where I was. So there was many times when my mum got home and there was an aroma in the air and I was very panicked. <laughs> <laughs> but God, God bless her, she never said a word. She never said a word. She just like, Mommy, uh, you're very good. Uh, do you want some dinner? <laughs> I don't know why I'm having dinner at night. She was coming up from work, but he was very. Um... One of my friends got caught jacking off, and and 
he was a real he was already like 18 but very like traditional christian household his mom like caught him he had headphones on he was full full <laughs> oh, that's the worst. That's from the worst. The screen. she Can't came in now. she came in from the back he's like full on going at it she turned him around in the chair and slapped the fuck out of him <laughs> like, she screamed at him she's like who taught you how to do this how dare you do this to yourself? Who taught you? I want to know his name. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> no, Damn. Josh. It was Josh. It was definitely Josh. And then, and then it was so crazy. Like he's eighteen, right? He's already fucking. He's already fucking someone <laughs> in school. And um, then they, they called the pastor over. They had like an intervention, and they oh, like, called the church people over, and they had to like get involved. The poor bastard. It's not me. It's the devil. And now you're scaring him. You like thing to do is just pretend it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> just pretend it never just happened. Just put the groceries away. We'll talk about it in twenty years. Yeah. And we'll never not, not even walk house, man. Yeah. But well, it's funny. It's like his mom didn't even come back later. This she immediately she slapped him midway. Like his dick was out, and she was beating <laughs> still, him. She's still up. She didn't just like she continued beating him while he was beating his. You know, like, that's <laughs> mental. There was two kinds of. People I got caught. Up. I got caught out by mum. She came in the room. Oh. She's opened the door, saw me, and she just closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Fine. Don't say anything. Don't say nothing. Yeah. We don't make eye contact. Mm. Nobody looks at anybody. It's all good. Then one day I'm having a long shower for some fucking reason. I'm yeah, having a long shower, shower. and all you hear is the old wog go, "Stop fucking jerking off in there!" <laughs> <laughs> that was all you heard. We're in a drought, yeah. and then it was like I was having like two minute showers. I'm in there, in there, <laughs> not even clean. Oh fuck! Dude, when I was in national service, when guys used to keep jacking off in the bathroom, and I never understood that. It's like. There's 160 guys in the barracks. Fuck are you jacking off to? Just wait for Friday. <laughs> you, and our our cubicles, um, like, if you were lucky, it had a door. Mm. There are oh. no locks. So, like, some people, you know, you just shit there, just, you know, open. So they wouldn't give you guys pills to not... not... No, no, no. What? No, no. Oh, no, in Europe, they give you... Well, where we're from, they give you pills. Really? So if you do a, if you do a stint in the army, you're not touching him. Wow. You're, you're literally fucking... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's yeah, back nuts. this up. Let's examine this. But yeah. what, what is that? Like anti- is there anything else we haven't touched on that we need to? <laughs> Other countries to hate on? Nah, I'm too white for that. I just hate people. I don't hate regions. Oh, we'll touch on, we'll just touch on quickly. Where did you start your comedy year? <laughs> 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 before, we, before we knock this out... <laughs> Uh, Station 59, actually. The the, the place hey. where you saw me. No shout, out, shout out to Kieran. <laughs> no Kieran, what great room, man. Kieran is it, mate, he was proper training wheels. Mm. Yeah. And he, like I said last week, he was so encouraging. And you were so still a shit. Mm. Like, you were so, I was so shit. And he was always like, no, nah, man, you gig great. Fucking blah, blah, blah. It was just awesome. I still have the video of my first gig up on YouTube. And it went all right. It went all right. Is that shrooms? No, no, no. It was, that was deep into it. I want to see the shrooms one. The shrooms on, there's no recording. Oh, I could barely remember the way to get there. I definitely <laughs> didn't record it. But I saw Comedy Festival, I watched two acts, and one was shit, and it was like a brown dude, I won't say who, and then one was really good, and it was um, uh, American guy, Brian. Arj Barker. And Arj Barker, turns out Arj Barker is half Punjabi. Yeah. And for some reason, the fact that he's half Punjabi made it, I'm Punjabi, right? So I'm like, well, I guess I can. And the other Indian guy was shit. I remember telling my girlfriend at the time, like, we just listened to an hour of him being all political and white people are evil and all that. Like, there was no joke to it and political analysis wasn't smart or anything. It's like, what the fuck am I listening to? If I just told stories like this now about yeah. my friends, I'm funnier than him. And I saw Arch Barker, who was really good. He was like, the, he was like the other end of it. This is like what you can achieve. Yeah. And then she was like, well, if you think you're funny, go do an open mic. And that was the one thing I actually listened to her about. <laughs> so I googled it and I found Station 59 and I went down and they were doing the festival at the time so there wasn't open mic. But I came back a few weeks later, signed up and then I did the thing. Nervous as fuck. I was so fucking nervous. Had some shitty jokes, did it. And then that was that. I was like, fuck, this is awesome. I just kept coming back and doing it. So how long ago was that? Fuck, man. That was like 2015, 2014 maybe. Long time. Okay. It would have been 2015 when I saw you there, yeah. I would imagine. No, 2014 it would have been. 2014. Really? Yeah. Sure. yeah. <clears throat> I, I uh, did 
when I, I was doing the same in Arge Barker, I did that comics lounge with Arge Barker. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, yeah, I'm pretty much Arge Barker. <laughs> but it's one of them. <laughs> yeah, we, we'll, give it, we'll give an open mic or a fucking spot halfway through. <laughs> And I was so proud, man. Like, I tagged him in yeah. my post and everything. <laughs> but he liked it. He commented and everything. I was like, He's a fucking awesome, sitcom. Yeah. What a fucking oh, dude. I think it was really good that I saw the bad one do it as well. Yeah. Because yeah. if I'd just seen good comics, it'd just be like, oh, this is just... Is the bad one still see? around? Or? Yeah, he's famous. Oh, yeah, that, that big guy that lost all the weight? No, no. No, no. no he's very good. <laughs> no, okay. This was someone else. I'll tell you after. I don't want to say but um, it was good that I saw him because he's fam- He was already famous, had a reputation, all that. So mm. that I am the one who chose the show. I was like, let's go watch this guy, and I thought he's gonna have some some cutting edge. Fuck, his whole thing could just be summed up by white people. Oh know, no, yeah, yeah. everything is fucking refugees, this and that. He's not wrong though, is it? But it wasn't funny. You know? it was just, <laughs> I mean, it's just it was really whiny, and then you know, the people who were there who agreed with him just applauded. Does he have DJs? What? Does he have DJ's opening set? No, no, he didn't. Okay. I don't think so. But he's like very political and try. He tries to act black as well, which I hate. Like, oh, I know who it is. Yeah. And uh, who's the Aussie? Like as in Australia, lives in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are you thinking of Russell Peters? Yeah. Or? No, 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 he's funny. He's funny. He's hilarious. No, this guy didn't like. <laughs> I'm sure he is funny, but that thing I saw was shit. Yeah. yeah. Like this whiny shit, not smart at all, not funny. Yeah, but he would have had the he would have had the backing of you know, the, the Indian crowd. So there was actually no Indian crowd. No. It was it was woke white folk, oh, okay. and there was woke sort of coloured folk, for lack of a better word. <laughs> and then I brought my girlfriend, who was Australian Croatian. She fucking hated it. I'm Singaporean Indian. I hated it. So like, it's mm. not a race thing. It's just yeah, yeah. shit comedy, trying to be all woke back in the day. We, like, we've all been there. I went through a stage of that. Uh, of woke of, shit. of trying to be woke and then realised that I don't find it funny. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Even I, you know, I'm well, saying like, like George shit. Carlin did so much political shit and, and Louis Black and all, but it had a punchline. Yeah, it was funny. It had a punchline. This was just like, oh, they're doing this to the refugee and that thing in Manus Island. It's like, it's all true, but yeah. where's the joke? Yeah, yeah, or yeah, if yeah. you're going to say some political shit, it's got to be really groundbreaking. Yeah. Right? Like, I never thought about it that way. Yeah. It's just the same old shit. Like, yeah, I've read it in the age, bro. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's I know, right. I've yeah. done all You're the things. Melbourne. Yeah, exactly. Fucking, this is We're all less qualified, probably more, yeah. to speak about this shit. I'm a bit like our podcast. <laughs> 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 I'm not qualified to talk about any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer and all that. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Benny? When, you, when did you start? I started, well, well I started in uh, 20, when was it, 2018? Mm-hmm. And then um, the old man got sick, so I took a break. Mm. And then um, I did the, I was telling Georgie, I did the Melbourne Comedy Festival. So that was our, that was our first ever, you're on stage, get up there, go mm. do your thing. That was your first? That was my first. Fuck, fuck comedy really? festival. Yeah, Holy first. fuck. And, um, and I'm doing it, I'm doing it proper. <laughs> I could <laughs> really <laughs> kill myself. Um, so we did that, which was good. It was like, you know, you're, you're in there, you shit yourself. Like fire, man. And they put us up there, and, and I remember it. You know, and it was actually funny because a mate of mine sent me a text the other night, and he goes, "What was the late?" And we we had one of the it was only the course. It was wasn't the school of hard knock knocks. It was another Australian comedy. Mm. Um, this guy from Sydney, anyway. So I did it with him, and um, one of the ladies on there were one of the ladies from that um, uh, Real Housewives of Australia, whatever it was called. <laughs> Uh, like it's a Foxtel show. Yeah, like uh, after we got loads of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah reality yeah. TV. Yeah. But she was fucking hilarious. Like she was really good. Yeah. And I just couldn't work out my shit. And I'm like, oh, how do I do? I'm trying to work it out. And I, I sort of offended the black teacher. Yeah. And I didn't offend him. Like I didn't say anything black. I didn't do any of that. I wasn't racist in any way towards him. I mean, yeah. I've got the material, but I just didn't do uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, The only thing I said, which pissed him off, and you know Robbie G? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Robbie G was my, Robbie G is my mentor even until today. Yeah, so yeah. if I turn to him, I can ask him anything, he'll talk to him, whatever. And Robbie G turned around to me and goes, I said, I want to say wog. And the black guy goes, you can't say wog. It's like saying the N word, and I and we got into this bit of a stow. So I went, well, yeah, bro, I'm a wog. Yeah, I can say wog. Yeah, and so we went into this whole back and forth, back and forth, and it all turned to shit at that point. Like it sort of, um, 
he, he sort of went, nah, this guy's going to do whatever the fuck he wants anyway, fuck mm. him, sort of thing. Uh, I got called up on stage, which at that point I was so in the moment that I didn't even realise, they just could, they said Benny and I didn't even hear the last name. And it was Benny May. Oh, <laughs> and, it was just, and it was just like, if you watch the video, it's just like, oh, Benny May. And it was just like, you fucker. <laughs> I'm hunting you down, cunt. <laughs> I went up there, did my shit, did well, whatever. Got off stage. I was pumped up, all the rest of it. And like they were turning around, let's take some photos. I stepped out with a few of my mates that were there and I was all fucking pumped up, you know, just the adrenaline. I got back in there and go, let's take some photos. Oh, we're done, mate. That's it. See you later. And I just went, you fucking cunt. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it wasn't that that I left, but my old man got sick, so I left after that. And then I sort of uh, looked after my old man for a couple of years, and then I turned around and said, all right, I think I want to get back to this comedy stuff. And I said to her, and I go, I want to do the comedy. She goes, yes, fucking do it. That's what you love. Go for it. And so then I found the school of Hard Knock Knocks, went into that, got that going, and then... Um, it sort of everything sort of snowballed from there. I was like, all right, get into this. Then, because I was looking after Dad, he started getting more sicker, and sort of everything sort of, he, he passed away. Then I was mid, finished school of hard knock knocks, did six months, and it was all sort of everywhere. And then I just went, oh God, this is too hard to focus on all this. And then, mm. and then I had a, then a, a year later, Mum passed away. Oh, so I had a shitty couple mm. of years there, which, you know, and now I'm back, and I'm going to be racist. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go hard now. <laughs> you know, so... And it's just, yeah, like it's like anything. you sort of got to... Um, you, like you're saying about the woke thing, you go, you step in there, you, you don't know where you're at. Mm. Do I go this way? Do I show everybody my true colours? Do I pull back? Do yeah. I... You know what I mean? So you got to find your own voice, I think, mm. and... Um, so you do, but everything's, it's all in the, your tells, man. So like, yeah. what I've found is the, what I was particularly nervous about coming back to Melbourne is I, I, I often start with a bit extreme joke and I'll lose a room, but where it won't lose a room is if I don't give a fuck if I lose the room. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm just like, this is very confident in what I'm saying and I'll keep going and because if I, if I cringe or pull back at any point. They can see it in my eyeballs, man. And they're like, is he going to say, is, does he mean, is this a racist joke? <laughs> so that now the thing that I've said that is going to be all the opposite, that it just sounds like I'm saying racist shit or I'm saying offensive shit or I'm saying, you know, stuff about fat people, which is, it's always funny anyway. But you know what I mean? Some people don't like it. And uh, I don't, it's, it's, and it's, that's, I think that's the skill you try to develop, really. Yeah. Like the, the fucking, this is what I'm saying. You just got to do it. This is what I'm saying, so fuck mm. off. <laughs> yeah, but shit just pulled out of thin air isn't funny. Like, that sounded like a. T <laughs> like, yeah. That's why I hate that drama classy shit. Like, I like real comedy. Like, you know, this happened to me. You know, what do you think of that kind of thing? Like, not the. I want a tram. I'm going to spill my latte. Alright. Who does that? But people, people. do. But people do <laughs> find that funny, though. People do find that funny. Oh, so there is a crowd for it. There is a crowd for it. And there's a crowd for one-liners. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, like, total respect to people who do one-liners because there's a lot of craft in that. But I just find it shit. Yeah. That's not, yeah, I yeah. just find it shit. Like, it just doesn't... It's like, boring. I went like, to watch, uh, you know, the, the fellow with the blonde hair, big fella, American. Uh, fucking hell. He just does one-liners. Norm McDonald? No. No, he doesn't have blonde hair. I went to watch him in Leicester Jim Square. Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan. Leicester yeah. Square. Oh, he's so good, man. Mate, I fell asleep in front row. Really? So much so that he looked at me when I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't say I'm sorry because he was still going and stuff, but I was just like, I was fucking mortified that I'd like been a disrespectful prick. But I was, at the same time, I was like, I was tired, man. Like, yeah. I, I fucking... You know what, though, Jim Gaffigan, when I used to, uh, that app, Pandora, mm -hmm. and then you were... You can put it on the comedy channel and you just get like five minute sets from yeah. comics. Mm. Jim Gaffigan in five minute sets is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Well, you've tried That's to watch what I mean. That's what I mean. An hour. It's, it's very exhausting. exhausting on your brain. An hour, an hour of one liners. Like I can't remember what yeah. you said in the first one. Even Mitch Hedberg, I find it very hard to, to pay attention yeah. for so long. 
There's just no depth to it. Like a lot of it's just puns and play on words. I like a shit. Story, I don't find it. I yeah. like a point of view. That's what I'm saying. So for, for if that's what you like, like you love it. Like yeah. you love these comedians. Like Anthony Jesselnick as well. I can't do the whole album. No, it's too like, who was that? Anthony Jesselnick. He, so he does like really, 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 really like, dark, really, really dark stuff. Oh, I know what you mean. And he does a I bit about his neighbour. I find him has too a heart forced. attack or something. So yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. He, I know yeah. what you mean. He had a special called like Fire in the Maternity. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. But if you hear like bits of it, it's killer. I, I don't know about whole. Maybe in a club environment is different. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe theatre is like. I need, I need to listen to like a Dave Chappelle. Or yeah, Chappelle yeah. Or yeah. Or I need to be going Doug somewhere. Doug Stanhope, I saw him when he came to Melbourne. I think like everyone in comedy was there that night. And he did like an hour and a half. It was so good. Was that the big. There was an upstairs and a downstairs. It's, yeah. Yeah, I think. He, it was some random theatre. Not even the distance. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The there was city. people outside fucking with sticks and stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> like proper fucking hippies you know, like he, the crowd of your tracks he was, he he's was proper crusty he was, he was, he was funny <laughs> he said there was a comedian in the audience and he said uh, what do you what, what do you do and oh, this I, guy said I'm a comedian yes was, you, know, was you that one no, I was no, was it me no, no, no what was I know who it was alright I know said, who it was he's like man this is Saturday night at 8 o'clock you aren't no fucking comedian yeah. like it's <laughs> fucking you know, you know what like no disrespect to that guy he's a friend of mine yeah He's not a comic. Like, yeah, that's yeah. not what pays your bills. That's right. He yeah. had an office job. Yeah. You do comedy. Mm. And when a professional veteran, the, the goat, right? He's that's like the comic's comic. Do. When you ask a comic who's your favourite comic, usually the mm. who's still alive, Doug Stanhope will be yeah, top yeah. three at least. Yeah. If you're not making a living from comedy and he asks you what do you do for a living, <laughs> you cannot <laughs> fucking say comedy, man. It's like if you got a few like poems written down and like some Nobel Prize winning writer yeah. asks you what do you do you're not going to be like I'm a poet you're like I'm in IT yeah. <laughs> and on the side I might write some horse shit you know how dare you <laughs> but it was funny like when I was at that gig and I couldn't see who it was but I knew it was some Melvin mm, yeah, yeah. no disrespect to the guy I still like you man. but I remember when he said like, what do you do and then he's like he couldn't hear what the guy said and he's like you're a comic and I was like oh this cunt because he's not he's not yeah. Dil Rook yeah, he's yeah. not Adam Hills he's not any professional yeah. you're nobody how dare you tell Doug Stanhope you're a comic are you out of your mind fuck man you played some basketball when <laughs> you were a kid you're going to tell Michael Jordan yeah I, I too play basketball <laughs> man and, and that's not the answer he's looking for you know what I mean you're not leaving him into something there over the t- 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 you're Ronnie Chang right he's awesome one time I was flyering outside uh, town hall this is just before he became famous mm. but he was a big deal in Melbourne and then like I met him a few times he was actually from my high school in Singapore he was a year older than me oh, yeah. and uh, I was flying and then I saw him he saw me and I just like said hi I didn't expect him to know who the fuck I am and he came up to me he's like oh Gary Johal and I was like how the fuck do mm. you know and he's like oh we have mutual friends this guy Adriel then he's like, oh, you do comedy as well, right? And I was so embarrassed. Because it's like, how, you know, I felt how like I, I, I don't have any right to say yeah. to you, like, this guy's selling out stadiums and the mm. forum theatre and everything. And he was so, so nice. So you turn around and go, no, I actually work in IT. <laughs> <laughs> no, call centre. But, no. like, the example I always use is, like, that's like, you know, if, like, Michael Jordan or something, oh, I heard you play basketball as well. It's like, oh, well, I mean, I try, but, you know, I'm not you. But I still remember, I was starstruck man, when I saw him. Like, you know, you have massive respect for this dude. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, you say, oh, you do Especially if he was in the year above you at school, like, he's just getting yeah, massive. It's a huge deal. And you're like, I'm the shit version of you. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the, the year below. And you know what, Ronnie Chang's a like, really nice guy if you ever meet him or what. Oh, you know, a, a lot of these comics who are really successful Chris Franklin, Dilro. You know, all these other people, you talk to them, they're the nicest people. I was, yeah. I was it's the ones who are nobodies or like pieces exactly of Exactly, right. I was saying to these two last week in Castle, this, the, you get, you got a level of comedy where everyone's so hateful on each other. You get to like a professional level and everyone's so nice. I think they got nothing to You get this, like, I can get you a gig there. Do you know this guy? Mm, what you did yeah. there was fucking awesome. Try to do a bit more there. Like, it's, uh, and I don't, what's the point of being a cunt? I've heard from people who have come from like no comment. I heard from a Geordie. Perth, I heard from a Perth comic who's like a kind of a big deal, and he he I met him at Spleen like after a gig and had a few drinks with him, and I was surprised that he even talked to me mm. because you know we're so used to the Melbourne thing, and he's like everyone in Melbourne's really like so cunty with yeah. each other. The scene is so 
and like everyone's so mean to each other and you're all like not getting in each other's way he's like in Brisbane it's not like that Adelaide it's not like that Perth it's not like that they're mm. also re- really helpful but Melbourne's really fucking evil <laughs> yeah it is and it, it all stems from that page the the the, 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 the Melbourne comedy page <laughs> which is Why would you never post it? had a, a funny thing to say ever what? other than you can't come to my room because I hate you and yeah. you go get booked to my gigs because you say things that are funny and not walk so you can never come yeah, into my yeah. room because you say very toxic yeah. it, it's mental it's meant i couldn't give a fuck and i was saying like the the, the way I, I rise above it is if that guy said that something offensive to me in real life would i take it no so i'm definitely not going to take it in a comedy room yeah. some 18 year old kid fresh in a comedy starts looking down at me i will smack you in your face mate <laughs> so you don't need to try that trick with me like it will not happen so and it, you know what i mean they're just kids. You one line of motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's very difficult for me to get on here because I, I won't play the game and and I'm not bothered by it. I'm not phased by it. Like I, I just want to rock up to a club, say, "Oh, I'm going to do five. Yeah. I'm going to do whatever." I, you don't want to put me on. I'm not going to come to your shit club anymore. Like you, <laughs> your audience is filled with three people. Like what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for being no, on true. the whole scene. That's a bell on point. But, uh, yeah, so... Which rooms? Uh, <laughs> I can rattle them off. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's very strange. There are some really nice comics in Melbourne, though. There is some beautiful yeah, people. Like, I've seen the, the... You know, the, the, the one that really... When I, I was really down a few months ago about the whole senior, and then I went to Bertie Salsa. Yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, everyone just um, made me Glenn's fucking Glenn, yeah, laugh, yeah. man. Awesome, yeah. yeah, we did were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. this tiny room in Brunswick, mm. and it's just hilarious. Everybody yeah. was lovely. Like mm. fucking afterwards, everyone had a beer, which is very yeah, weird yeah. here. Um, <laughs> and it was just yeah, really cool. Mm. Well, that's what you want. You want the support. You don't want the the yeah. So what you got to hate, man? Yeah. Why? I, I should Why? clarify. Yeah. I hate you, if, like for a reason. <laughs> like I'm not, no, but that's I'm not a cunt to everyone. And it's funny. You know what I mean? If you yeah, hate me, I'm not, I've got... e- I'm not a cunt to everyone. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Billy. <laughs> I feel like I took this personally. <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking about you. We're talking oh, about good. just. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of more talking about people who like they hate you for no reason, and mm. it's like I barely even met you. Yeah. You don't yeah, want to give me yeah. a spot because I'm not in the right group of friends or whatever. And I think for the first few years, I had the whole I'm brown and foreign thing working for me. Because mm. <laughs> it's like, that's what you want in your lineup. You want yeah. colour, right? You want like, mm. oh, I'm, I'm woke and I've got this foreign bearded motherfucker on my There's a girl. Yeah, there's, there's a, a disabled girl, there's, person. There's the black guy, there's the brown guy, there's the Asian guy. And then people hear my material and it's like, oh, it's just a white guy. <laughs> this guy opens up with what's going on, cans. It's just like, white. Like, there's nothing. He's going to have to quaint him. He's going to be And also, when I first started, I used to do a lot of, like, you know, because I didn't know any better. I do a lot of, like, race material and all that shit, which now I find hacky. And but it helps you find your feet. Yeah. But, like, I mean, yeah, and it didn't, like, none of that shit actually really happened to me. It's just a thing. And I grew up watching a lot of black comedy, so I thought the race thing is what... You yeah, but you, you're not a cat. Like when I first talked to you, and I, and we, I, like I've seen you around, mm-hmm. and I've never actually approached you, and we never really talked. And then I we we ended up talking. at remember outside of Geordie's uh, at Geordie's place, and we had a beer, and we were all sitting around talking and mm. shit. And you were saying, oh, you know, you got to work on the you know the, the crowd and all that. And, mm. and you and you're nice. You 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 you're very for for me. I mean, that's what the sort sort of people I sort of gravitate to because. You know, if the person's going to be like, oh, fuck, I've been doing this for fucking, you know, six, seven years and fucking I'm the best and blah, blah, blah and all the rest of it and go fuck yourself. Well... But nobody cares. Like, no one cares. I don't care if you've been doing it 20 years and you kill every time. We're outside of a bar and I'm having a beer. Like, fucking... Dude, Chris Franklin is the best example of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, he's legit, and you can hang out with him at the expert. You might not have seen him for two years. You might have never even met him. If you're nice yeah. to him, he'll talk to you. Mm-hmm. Like anyone else, he just wants to have a good time, have a beer, yeah. go home, that kind of thing. Like, yeah. no cuntiness at all. No, like, who are you in the pecking order? None of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we had him on the podcast. He was fucking... Really? Yeah, yeah. That's a really yeah. good chat. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Like, it was awesome. Like, he... I, I hit him up. We we talked. And I, was, I said, "Can you do it?" Yeah, no drama. There was no like, oh fuck. 
you know, I was shitting myself, like, will he do it? And then he's just literally, yeah, no worries, Benny, I'll sort it out. You know, let's, mm. let's make a time and bang, he's mm. here. Yeah, that's you know, and that's the thing about it. It's like, um, him, even George uh, Caponaris, mm. same thing. No, nah, no worries, I'll do it for you. You know what I mean? And that's what you want. You want those type of guys to sort of show you that, like, you know, oh, there's not an issue for me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because, and I think it's, I think it, it's when they run a room that goes to their head. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Not, not you, Jody. I feel that you're feeling. <laughs> no, no, but I know, I know what you mean. See how the room went quiet. <laughs> Gary's just gone, no, no, it's not you, Jody. No, no, not you. <laughs> no, because I know what you're thinking. I'm just waiting for the butt. Yeah. No, 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 there's no butt. Look, but you've got some of the rooms that are... Yeah, you see it, man, when someone starts yeah. running a room and then they become a real cunt. Yeah. And then they don't have the room anymore and then suddenly they're like, oh... What the fuck know. for? Like, Dude, I ran a room ages ago and I saw the way people, their behavior completely changed. You know, this was, I was very new into it and then everyone's so nice and then the room went away and then everyone shut up and I was restarting the room. All of a sudden, oh, hey, how's it going? And I already know, I know you want a spot. Yeah. You don't need to pretend. Yeah. How's it going, blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, you're running. Oh, can I get a spot? Like, I, was, uh, yeah. I went to this one in London, right? And uh, there were two people around the room. So the other person that had seen it had seen me and asked me to headline the thing, right? And it was, it was a freaking Tuesday night shitty thing. So I was like, yeah, yeah, sick. So I got there and he says, like, you've got 20 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Cool, got there. And then uh, I was in the bar. I don't know where the fucking thing is, but I'm in the bar and there's a microphone, so I'm around that area. And then it's, <laughs> I've got, and it said the email, I get there, I speak to the guy, I'm like, oh, it's like quarter to whatever, it starts at eight. And I'm not on till the end, so yeah. who gives a fuck, right? So he's like, oh no, did you get the email? I was like, oh, yeah. Well, like, I just looked at the address, I'm not reading your fucking page email, mate. <laughs> and then um, he, he said, oh, did you see that he says get here at 6.30? I went, no, nah, I didn't actually. And then, then now I'm instantly like, Watch oh. how much of a cunt I am, mate. Like, yeah. fuck, how my fuck you? I'm like, nah, I didn't. Why would I read your email? I just read the address. He went, uh, <laughs> it said get you for six thirty. Oh, or your spot will be taken away. I said, oh, your spot will be halved. I said, oh, I'll probably just go then. And then he went, oh, uh, no, nah, nah. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. I'm like, so I'll do the twenty minutes. He went, yeah, yeah, you can do the twenty minutes. But next time, can you be here on time? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> what? What are you gonna do for an hour and a half? And then he it, and he sucked ass, man. I'm like, you are. No, that's a fucking power trip. That is yeah, a power yeah, trip. Fucking fucking mental. Mental. That's trying to make the room and look full. So if this makes coming. it to London, it's we are funny project. And guess what, mate? You're fucking not. Like, you <laughs> fucking. <laughs> yeah. What that's a cunt. If the show right starts there. at eight, what the fuck are you gonna do for an hour and a half? before that? Yeah, that's crazy. Cold exactly. Is I get there, have a beer. You know what I mean? Chilling out and fucking Jesus. Yeah, but an hour and a half. Like, Do you hear you're lucky if the comics show up within half an hour yeah, of the start? Right, yeah. Oh man, the expert every time the show starts at eight thirty. All right, eight thirty-five. Who do we have? We got the bartender, <laughs> and even that, like half the bartenders are not here. Fucking no disrespect. Yeah, but they've got, but they've got, a, they've also got to show a little bit of respect. You know what I mean? When they live it to the last minute, that's just mm. taking a piss. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, Especially when they're asked to go on earlier and they're yeah. up halfway through. Well, <laughs> Because I've got, I've got, I just want to go, well, mate, if I don't even want to be, I want to just go get pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think with, with comics, like, most people are right, but like, the ones who are cunts, they need to learn to just respect, man, in every part of life. Like, how can you be a dick? You shouldn't be a dick in any part of life. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It's so weird. It's because, I think like, you know, comics are, damaged people yeah. with low self-esteem. <laughs> if you talk about low self-esteem and all that, in like normal parts of life, maybe 10, 15% of your workforce or whatever with comedy is like way higher. Mm. If you do comedy, like chances are you probably fucked. You got a bit of depression, something. <laughs> like me, I do. But then, yeah, I do, I love it. It gives me all my bits. But like, so, <laughs> so probably more often than not, you're a bit of a cunt. So you gotta really read that shit in, man. I don't like having like, comics. I don't trust them. Mm. Yes. I like happy comics. Nah, fuck that. I mean, they're all happy. You know what's always funny? It's like someone's really happy and then they get on stage and talk about how depressed they are. <laughs> and I know, and I, I've suffered from depression myself and I'm a happy fucker. Yeah. And even I'm like, are you sure you're depressed? <laughs> I mean, you say you're bipolar, but are you really, are you milking this shit? Are you just trying to be special? And I'm like, such a dick. Yeah, but I think, but I think it's also they do milk it a little bit. Like, they actually look for that sympathy. Oh. The whole, but the whole room's fucked. 
Yeah, what, everyone's mad. Everyone's mad. You know, you're not doing it because you're, you know, you know, I don't know. When I first started, I remember telling Kieran actually there was a gig I didn't show up to, and I told him like I was actually really ashamed about it because you know in Singapore you, it's illegal to be depressed. <laughs> 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 and I told him well, I was going through a hard time. I didn't really want to say it, and he's like, "Oh, what happened? Were you depressed?" And I thought he's like taking the piss, belittling me. And I was like, yeah, I was, you know, going through a bad place. But he's like, mate, you know, he's like, I can't, I've got depression. My wife's got depression. This one's got depression. Like, just let me know. It ain't no thing. It's okay. I totally understand. And I was like, oh, it's actually not that taboo. Like, we're all nah. fucking nuts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, everyone's got something going on. It was, it was, it's really freeing in that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> finish mine. But it's, it's, you'll, you'll lean on whatever. Yeah. Lean on whatever. I do like the freedom of like that. I think that's one of the reasons why I've missed comedy so much. Is like the freedom to be yourself and be yeah. weird and, and say shit and say fucked up shit. Like the stuff that we've said today. Have you ever hung out with normal people? Mate, like, so this is the part of my life. Honestly, have you so done that? My wife is a very nice person. She comes from a town of three hundred and fifty people, uh, and uh, like the very country. So the very nice people. So she's got very nice friends. So then she invites her friends around for dinner. And then I talk like this. Yeah, yeah. And I know she's like smiling, like but really much behind her teeth. Like and they all look at me like I'm a fucking lunatic. And then now I'm now they don't come for dinner. I have a good. I have a, <laughs> I have well. a good. I have a good friend of mine. So like you know like my friends who are not comics but like my Singapore crew especially boys. They're fucking raw and they're just hor- like the stuff we say is yeah. horrendous to you know like locker room yeah, talk yeah. to make each other laugh the most weird fucked up shit ever yeah. but you would never say it at your job right and then I have a friend who uh, lives here and then I would rock up for Friday night drinks with his work people and then there's like three or four incidents where I fucked up and like someone got really offended and pissed off it got to a point where like Every time he's like, yeah, yeah, come for work drinks. And then as soon as I get there, he has to do a disclaimer. He's like, yeah, he's a comic. He says a lot of fucked up shit. Don't take it against him. Don't like use it against him. He's actually a nice guy. He had to like do this disclaimer Every so time. many times. Because he knows I'm going to say some crazy shit it's that awesome. I think is funny. Yeah. And then you do comedy enough where like some people get horrified. It's even funny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, I actually yeah. like that. Like, like yeah. discomfort is nothing to us. And you, you know, like a, lo- a long time ago, I was really shy and like, Social, socially awkward situation that would be like my nightmare. Now I love it, man. Yeah, I want to see how gross out you can get because I'm not. I don't care. I walk away. Whatever is the end of the night. Yeah, yeah right. absolutely. I don't give a shit. Drink it. I've off. Had Drink nothing it. Nothing that can happen in a party is any worse than bombing on stage. Yeah. So it ain't no nah. thing. But yeah. And then I sometimes I even try to get like get their reaction from people just to see. Cause it's so buttoned up and they're not used to it. And I think not doing comedy for a couple of months. It's kind of reminded me how that's like, mm. and like sometimes you know you hang out with friends. You're like, wow, if I said all this kind of shit, like <laughs> you know, it's so weird. And just the bottom, like we just the take bottom of the stiffness. Mm. So just the really Sick. polite. Oh my god, you know how I hang out with like, like my yeah, like my ex and her friends, and they just talk about bullshit. Mm. <laughs> And I always like make a joke about it as inappropriate and they look at me it's like I don't care about what you did in the week and how many times you picked up laundry like tell me something interesting your boyfriend come in your hair give me a story <laughs> man <laughs> you know you need a comic at a gig in five minutes she'll tell you that she fucked someone in the alley or something <laughs> this podcast we've just found out very intimate details exactly. about your other oh, this and even more. the non-comics at comedy gigs Jordy's friends who might be a stripper <laughs> or a burlesque dancer or some shit. Oh, yeah, I had a threesome. Yeah, yeah sell nice pictures on OnlyFans. You, know, you meet really interesting people and, and there's I, no filter for yeah, any of them. I know some people, yeah. Yeah, and they're all awesome. And you get used to that. Then you hang out with like normal people and you just casually drop a thing of like, oh, yeah, we like, did acid the other night, blah, 